Jordan's subjective. Jordan's subjective. Jordan's subjective. Jordan's subjective perspective. <laughs> Is that water in there? It's Sprite. Do you want some? It's like the only soda I'll drink too. It's like the new one. It's like the tropical one. Mm. So I, I saw it and I was like, wow, like, oh, I might That's as well good, try it. Man. I know, I know. <laughs> I like Baja Blast too. Oh, oh yeah. Fuck, dude. I'll go to Taco Bell just to get a Baja Blast. Yeah. I don't even care about the food. Baja Taco Bell's just got good. like, that's just so, that's so good that they have that. They had McDonald's by the balls because of that. Is it, ex- <laughs> it's only exclusive to Taco Bell? Yeah, it's only well, yeah. <laughs> really? Wait, yeah, isn't, it, isn't it just like, isn't it like just Mountain Dew and Gatorade mixed or something like that? I mean, you that's just what people say. You can, you can make it and it's fairly similar with Mountain Dew and Blue Powerade. It still doesn't okay. taste the same, it's just no. made in the factory no. though. Okay. The fra- <laughs> fra- first thing of Baja Blast is the greatest drink I probably ever had. I love it. There was one day where I went there and like they had messed up the syrup so it was a little bit stronger than it usually was. Mm-hmm. It was, it was <laughs> oh really? Yeah, I made it pretty strong. Dude, yeah. watered down soda sucks. That's such a big uh big letdown. Yeah, oh. you get, it's like, like tonic water or just carbonated water mm-hmm. with like a little yeah. bit of it's like flavored carbonated water at that point. It's just gross. Like at, so a lot of times gas stations have that. Mm-hmm. Like that just happens. Like you you yeah. pay for it and then it just like just tastes terrible. Yeah. And you're just like, you're just like, what? That any, sucks. I was looking forward to it. Any gas station puts QT and likes him, or wakes him as a Winslow just has weird tasting soda, I feel like. Because they're just yeah. kind of trash. And you're like, Philip 66 on Z. Philip 66 is usually kind of like, mobile usually has like better like yeah. food than them and stuff. And on the run's not like, bad. On the, on the run's mobile. Oh, okay. Yeah, mobile's better than some. Yeah. yeah. St. Louis, we rep the gas station game. We do. Those are our, those are the two big ones here, <laughs> Exxon, Exxon Mobil and uh, I don't Mobil know sixty six. I bet we yeah, we probably do some of the best gas stations in the country. QT I alone assume. is just QT is pretty bomb. QT's I wonder who gives gas, who gives oil and stuff to QT. I'll have to look that up. I'm super curious, just because like these these companies come to Rala and stuff. Oh really? And they're like the big yeah, they're like the big companies. No, it's like petroleum engineering. I mean yeah, like chemical. I mean they hire like chemical mechanicals like. Make a lot of money working there. That's okay. where everybody wants to work. Gas is a lot of money. Yeah. I got gas. My friend is making... <laughs> did you ever meet... I don't think you ever met Pecola. Pecola? Uh, Mason. That's his, oh. that's his name. His name's Nick. <laughs> Nick. Nick Pecola. Sounds like a drug dealer. He He's he's actually a pretty cool guy, but he he is working for... What's up? My name's for, Pecola. Uh, <laughs> he's working for Philip 66, and he's making like a fuck ton of money. Oh, really? Working there, yeah. Good for him. Wow. Oh yeah, he's making he's making like I think he's making like thirty something an hour, or something. He told me they pay him money for every mile he drives too. It's insane. Oh, so like, oh, work. he's just driving to work. No, 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 no. Like oh, they pay to him work. to drive to work. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's insane. It's balling. Wow. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's crazy. Hey, babe, you want to move like six miles <laughs> from work? <laughs> I get paid five miles per per mile, so. Yeah, for you to rack up. That's crazy. That's crazy. I know. It what blows, a weird concept. Blows my blows my mind. I'm trying to find. I can't find it. Oh well. Oh well. We tried. I guess we're just yeah. started. That was super super casual, you know. We're just. Oh, we started already. Yeah. We'll just, we'll oh, just I didn't know that. <laughs> casually, just and going. Oh, that's cool. Okay, are you going? Talking about Baja Blast. We're so casual. <laughs> Baja Blast. This that good of a drink. Baja Blast is easily probably one of the best soda. Mount, Mountain Dew in general is like the... Mountain Dew is my favorite soda. I used to do like the real sugar ones are good. That's what I used to drink when I gamed a lot was the oh, classics. the old ones. ones. Mm-hmm. Why do you think they're so associated? Like Mountain Dew and gaming. It's, oh, it's like synonymous. Like they're so associated at this point. Easily because of, uh, of Code Red. <laughs> like, I, like, yeah. I just feel like Code Red's like the super like... Just like the game, like I think I think they like do like a bunch of stuff like with video games too. Okay. Like Call of Duty and stuff like. So they just they just use that as marketing. Yeah, I always picture like Genius. I always picture somebody playing like World of Warcraft and drinking Code Red. Code Red. Just for some reason. <laughs> yeah. Some just drinking. Day. Yeah. Oh, no. It's got a feel to it. It is. It is true though. It is. It is a super like gaming drink. I don't know why. It's so funny. Like yeah. it, like when you think it's soda and you think like you don't even think like. Gaming and then you think soda. It's like you think gaming then Mountain Dew. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> that is yeah. true. Screw Mellow Yellow. Yeah, all <laughs> it's the same thing. That's like the knockoff, right? It's the Coke version or the Pepsi version. That's definitely. 
It's definitely not the Pepsi version. It's one of the Pepsi two. owns Mountain Dew, I think. I'm pretty sure. It's crazy how much like the flavors are affected just with your perception of the flavors too. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever heard that? Like, like they had like a blind tasting test between Coke and Pepsi, and more people preferred Pepsi over Coke. Really? But but yeah, like just blindly tasting it. Really? Like, like yeah, I like this taste more. But uh, but Coke is still like more preferred. Like they still outsell. I think I think Coke I think Coke tastes better. Really? Okay. Yeah. I mean. I like Pepsi a lot. Really? Yeah, I like the cherry taste to it. I just think Coke has just that, that little bit of zing. I never that realized just that. Like, <laughs> I think it's just got that little thing. It's got the zing. Yeah, exactly. The, you got to say that with your fingers. Like, yeah. It's got the zing. The zing. <laughs> I am Italian. It's got the zing. I just don't, I don't even drink dark sodas enough to really even. I barely I mean, I, I Sprite, drink soda. Sprite Mountain Dew. Baja Blast. Right? Yeah, probably. To be honest, we're having this whole conversation. I probably had like less than thirty sodas. Like yeah. collectively, if you want to like like eight fluid ounces times thirty, that's probably what I've had in my entire life. I did oh, drink wow. a lot of root beer though. Root beer's good. Mm-hmm. But Fitz's is nice. Actually, thirty's really low. I, I maybe have had like <sighs> I've had a lot of like sips like that. And, but anyway, um, so wow. it was like so it was like super bad for you. I feel like I just I just I feel like. Somebody told me, one of my friends told me, I can't remember who told me, but, like, that's, like, the easiest way to, like, gain weight. It's, yeah, like, man. drinking calories. That makes I, sense. Like, that's, that's like, yeah, like, that's just, like, like, you just, like, just drink water, and you, like, you'll, like, be fine. It doesn't make you full. Like, it, it's, just yeah, a, it's, it's a like, habit. Yeah, it is. It's just, like, it's a fuck. Yeah, like, this is so much right here, but. Yeah, because, like, when I go to Taco Bell. It tastes so good. Like, you, <laughs> could, you could easily drink, like, 700 calories of that. Yeah. <laughs> and then yeah. go eat, like, a normal meal. Yeah. Is Sprite, is Sprite high in, I feel like Sprite's low in calories. I feel like any light soda would be less. I don't know. I just feel like Sprite's associated with the, it makes the, more, the more healthy drink, the more healthy soda. Well, I feel like, I could be wrong, but I feel like the darker sodas make me feel thirsty more, too. Well, yeah, like, Coke, I, I know Coke makes, dehydrates you a little bit, makes you more thirsty. Oh, really? I thought all soda does. I don't think necessarily as much like lighter sodas do, but I definitely know for Coke and Pepsi and like dark, darker drinks. Have an impact besides root beer like i'm not a fan of soda at all or, I, I, dark sodas dark sodas like they I, I don't even like the taste honestly. you don't like dr pepper no i really it's like, nice every now and i like i like it every i think i think it's like really good but i just don't drink it that much okay but i do like every once in a while i'm just like that's what i have to lift off of yeah he that's kind of like, it kind of grossed me out he literally would sleep, like, <laughs> yeah. up, and you go play their games at like Nine Dude, ten in the morning, yeah. he'd crack open a Dr Pepper, and then he'd eat, like yeah, and food. just have his like tub of goldfish. It's oh insane. really? Yeah. That's really what he he's did. nasty. That's disgusting. Yeah. He's hundred percent having a heart attack before he sort of you. Like think, yeah. dude, think about that. Think like just think about those two combining in his stomach, just making this fucking soup of like yeah. goldfish and goldfish. It, suppli- it supplies him with nutrients. Like it's so. <laughs> It's so gross. It's so disgusting. Just imagining that picture sitting in his stomach, just like no, he's got his he's got his he's got his headset on too. He's greasy, he's, he's greasy. He's, hair. he's got his like PlayStation controller. It's just he's so nasty. Dude, like, <laughs> he would set it up. He'd have a t- he'd be a TV show on the TV. He'd have his computer. Then he'd have his iPhone yeah. set up with a TV, another TV show on his phone. Then he'd have his headphones on in one ear. Then he'd have his gaming headphones over those headphones. So he'd have like, <laughs> literally like four or five sources of input all at once. He's so gay. Like, <laughs> dude, he always watches stuff. In really? class, I remember, I only had one class with him. It was like Earth and Space Science. And it was, it was such an easy class. But he was just like such a bum in there. Like he, first of all, he wore sweatpants and like a hoodie yeah. every day to school. Really? I've never seen him in anything other than sweatpants. I wear sweatpants all the time. He wears khakis. They are super looks, comfy. He looks weird he as looks hell. He looks super okay. weird in khakis. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. It's unnatural. Yeah. It's like, what are you doing? Like, you're like, yeah. you just know that he's uncomfortable because he's just so used to wearing sweatpants. But he, <laughs> I don't. The beanie, too. Yeah. Yeah, some t- yeah, the hat. Oh, no. He always wears, like, a trucker hat. Yeah. Yeah, he, he curls does. his hair back. <laughs> <laughs> he got his hat on. And he had his brick phone, his Android phone. What too. a character. And he... But he would always, in class, he would always, like, we had our Chromebooks, and he would always, always just be watching a movie on there. Oh, like, I always, like, look over, he watching, like, Transformers or something with, like, the Asian subtitles. <laughs> never pay attention in class. Like, and he would, like, every time the teacher would move. <laughs> Dude, he's learning Chinese. Like, yeah, that's true, like, yeah. Hmm. But get your, your algebra up there on the board. I'm learning <laughs> Japanese right now. Every time, though, he would, like, 
the teacher would walk by too, he would have to like minimize it. And I'm like, how is it like, I, you're putting in so much work to make sure he doesn't notice. Why don't you just like pay attention? <laughs> Why don't you just not do? I'm, I'm imagining the South Park character right now, like the, the gaming nerd kind of deal. Like yeah. the World of Warcraft episode? Yeah, or yeah. Just, yeah. Information oh, processing, just sitting there with like one arm up here. He's just, he literally is just the definition of a bum. Yeah. <laughs> kind of looks like it, Doesn't yeah. do anything, smokes a lot of drugs, gets a lot of bars, and then... Jacks off, right? Yeah, probably, probably, yeah. If he can get to his bed over his <laughs> mouth of clothes. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was super cool. Yes. In his dorm, he'd have his bed, and there was a line. And, like, this side was clean, and then there was literally just a wall of clothes around the rest of his room. Mm -hmm. And, like, he'd, have to, he'd, like, jump on his bed over his clothes. Jesus Christ. He's an animal. Yeah, I just don't, under, I don't understand, like, understand that extreme. Like, like yeah, I think extremes can be good in some sense if you're, like, putting all your extreme effort into something, like, insane. Or, like, it's something beneficial. Productive. Yeah, but, like... I don't know, like, like how do you, how do you not think balance in that situation? Like at least a little bit, you know? Yeah. How does he not get disgusted? Yeah. <laughs> it's like you know what? I, I've had a lot of fun playing a lot of video games, but moderation. He plays so much video games. Well, it's crazy. At some point, well, yeah, he plays a lot of video games. The thing is, he still sucks at the game, but he's really played hours of. It. <laughs> no, he's still like not nearly as good as like what? Like what game? What game? League. Oh, really? Yeah, he's still oh, not very good at League. God. Like, people that play League with him still, like, Sam. Like, Bob could you Bob beat him? I don't know if I could beat him. I haven't played that in a long time. Okay, but, like, somebody who's good at Someone it, who yeah. plays the same level, time the same amount of time. would probably whoop him in probably League. I would okay. Say. Yeah. And he's not even good at it. That's yeah. the kicker, man. His, I know his brother talks a lot of crap. Like, I don't know who I was talking to about. I might have been Sam. But he plays with his older brother, Austin Finnell, Flynn, a lot. And um, he just like he said that he just gets pissed off at asking. So he'll just like he'll just like, just do whatever he wants. Like he'll just attack people, get himself killed. Yeah. Dude, he was like doing it. <laughs> All right, this guy sounds like so a dirty. Game, I'm assuming. Yeah. Okay. Have you ever played the only game that I've ever like actually like got into? Like where like I actually like kind of like cared about like rank and stuff was Rainbow. If you know what that I've is. Never heard of that. It's just like it's just like a shooting game, and but it's just like you have to be like super like. Is a lot of communication. If you get killed, you're out. Oh, it'd be kind of yeah. cool. So like you're 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 moving as a unit. Yeah, you, so, I mean you have to. Yeah, it's just like you played Search and Destroy in Call of Duty before. No, but I get the concept. Okay, I've watched somebody play it before. Okay. It's kind of the same thing, but a little, way more like technical. And you can be like, okay, absolutely. You can be like, it's like super creative too. It's hard to explain. But he sucks playing with him. Sucks because he really? just doesn't. He doesn't yeah, care. yeah, just goes and gets himself killed or something. Yeah. He thinks he's gonna go do something crazy, and then he yeah. just gets he just gets killed instantly. You know, you know who he is? He's the archetype of the guy who dribbles the soccer ball around, who's not very good, and over dribbles and loses the ball frequently, and then throws right. his hands up in the air whenever he loses the ball. Connor, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> That's who he is. That's funny. That's all he does every day. All right, transition. Okay. All right, so I told you guys before the podcast that uh, I'm not going to tell the details, but pretty much I have a piece of shit roommate who's costing me, who caused about $5,000 worth of damage for our house collectively and legally on the contract. I'm more so catching up for the, the camera right now. Mm -hmm. Legally on the contract, um, we... Are, it's like a blanket type of deal, so we're all collectively getting charged for this, and it just needs to be paid. But he's the one who has caused 100% of these damages and fees. And um, with in result, like this happened about a week ago to me. In the past week, I've felt very like out of control for my own like circumstances, and very mm -hmm. like I feel like I'm just getting screwed off of somebody else's actions. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know, I've just felt very very helpless. So I just thought I'd. I'd bring that topic up, like just being okay. helpless in general. Okay. Okay. That's that's fair. That's fair. Um, I don't I don't know if, I don't know if I've ever been in, like the exact same position that you've been in. <laughs> well, yeah. just in general, like, yeah. like, have you ever have you ever felt like? Because I feel like whenever you really feel helpless is whenever you feel like no matter what you can do, like you are trying to control as many variables as you possibly can to reduce the uncertainty that you're going to like get yourself out of something or create like a positive result for yourself and regardless of what you do you like nothing you can do 
will change it so then you just feel helpless and it's just like it's like okay well I'm, I'm screwed no matter what like no matter what way I turn no matter what I do I'm screwed so then you kind of it's kind of like a really uh, defeating position to be in if that makes sense yeah I guess yeah I guess that kind of makes sense yeah I, I don't know if I have like any specific examples though like I, yeah. the only time I guess that's a good thing the, good. yeah I, I try to do whatever I can to avoid that just cause <laughs> like those feelings fucking suck yeah, those are like the worst yeah, I try to do whatever I can to... I guess the only time I've ever really felt that maybe is, like, during a soccer game or something. Kind of, if that makes, like... Like, especially whenever your team's not playing. Yeah, dude. Oh, yeah, if your team, like... Sometimes, you know, you, how you, like, play with, like... You guys' game last night's a good game. Yeah, yeah. Or, like, some like sometimes you just play with people who, like, aren't as, like, good, kind of, and you're just playing against some, like, people who are incredible, and they're just, like, shitting on you, and you can't do anything, and it's just, like... And then you're like, fucking dude, I got my boys out in the yeah. o- over here. Like, if I had my friends playing on this yeah. game instead of this person, like, yeah. you start running through all these hypotheticals. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Especially being hyper competitive, like we all are. Yeah, are. yeah. Wanting to win. No, for sure. But no, I haven't had any. I don't think anything's remotely similar to your situation, at least. I feel like that, like, I feel like it hasn't happened to me. I don't know. I hope that never happens to me. <laughs> oh, yeah, true, true. I mean, very unlikely that. It's a very specific situation. But with, with that being said, there's like a there's a psychological phenomenon called like uh, like learned helplessness. Mm-hmm. Oh, dude. Of, have you ever heard of that? <laughs> dude. Well, uh, yeah, I, I, I had to write a paper on that. No way, really? <laughs> yes, I had to write. I, so, like... Uh, obviously, like I'm engineering, uh-huh. and like that's like the last thing I hate writing papers. And I had English one class, like my first semester, and we had to write the paper about learned helplessness, and it was terrible. It oh, was really? so bad. <laughs> yeah, I just hated it. Was there was there anything like remotely interesting in that? <sighs> Dude, honestly, I didn't think so. <laughs> like our professor was just so passionate about it. Like I think like it's cool and worth knowing, but it's not. It like, kind of I, is. I feel like it's not worth like writing a paper about. No, it. like, it's, it's kind not. of a rudimentary. It process. is kind of interesting. Is that like becoming the victim almost? What is it? Wait, what is to it? an extent? Like like an example that kind of comes to mind, and I think I've heard this like independently of this, but it's an example of learned helplessness for sure. Is like the way circuses will condition like elephants, yeah, yeah, to not Some go run off the post, or yeah, they, whenever they're strong enough, is they will raise them as their calves because elephants are called calves whenever they're younger, mm-hmm. kind of cool. But uh, they'll they'll condition them by putting a post in the ground when they're not strong enough, and anytime they try to run away and get off the post, mm-hmm. then they just they they're unable to. So then whenever they grow up and they're actually strong enough to like break this post down and literally like destroy the thing. Mm-hmm. They, they just don't try because it's learned helplessness. They, mm-hmm. They've learned that no matter what happens, like, they're unable to get away. I, I read something I read something online, or no, it was like this book or whatever for English class. There was a ton, I think, I remember one of the examples was someone with like a dog too. Mm. And it was something similar to that. Like, I think someone with like shot collars and stuff or something like that. I don't know. Also I can't not powerful enough to actually hurt them. Yeah, so maybe something like that. Situation. Yeah, so maybe I, like I don't know. anywhere they almost like the prisoners dilemma. Like any way they turn, they're kind of like fucked. I guess I just can't remember. I, I can't remember exactly, but it was something similar to that. Okay, absolutely. Like I, I think I know. I know what you're talking about. I know what it, like it is. Because that, that's kind of how I feel right now. It's like okay, anywhere I turn, like this person is fucking my life up just because I signed a lease with him. It's like yeah. Oh, like, uh, it's just uh yeah I just thought I'd bring that that uh, yeah. topic up just in general because uh, but at the end of the day it's a story long term <laughs> yeah oh, that's an experience and uh, I don't know it's also like I don't it's know, like the best yeah. way to to think of it because I've I was kind of like beating myself up about it but I feel a lot better like now mm-hmm. I feel like the best way to can like do like handle anything like this is it's like okay yo like all of these variables are out of my control. All I control is just be like in a positive mindset and just face whatever consequences come my way. Yeah, it sucks, but just like just man up and own responsibility. You know, just, yeah. like if, if it was like what I did or like something I did and like I messed up and caused the same consequences, mm-hmm. like it, it's easier to accept responsibility in that situation because you're like, yo, like I did it. Like I'm yeah. the one. I tried this. It didn't work. Therefore, yeah. like it's fine. But yeah. whenever somebody else is fucking your life up, it's kind of, it's kind of difficult. <laughs> That's true. That's very true. It's super frustrating. You just gotta get the best out of the situation. Like, given what the circumstances. Yeah, you maximize not, your. 
No, you just know not to mess with shady people. That's sure. <laughs> that, that's I guess that's your your best lesson. I guess I don't know. Yeah, which I th- I feel like I didn't even learn that. I feel like he, I just trusted my roommate letting this guy in. But yeah, yeah. I guess yeah, I wasn't really. You didn't really know. You guys really, really didn't have a choice either. So yeah, just a ton of like just uh, step by step leading up to this, and it's like holy shit. Yeah. And to be honest, like looking back on it, knowing what I knew at that time, I don't even think I would have done anything different. It's the, it's the shittiest part. I'm like, yeah. I, don't, I don't regret anything. It's like, yeah. I, yeah. I didn't really, I don't know. But Wait, everything that happened was kind of worst case. Like, you can't really, like, imagine that actually like, happening. True. Yeah. Playing out, and, like, how just everything leads to something else, and this leads to something else. And But what blows my mind is it's just, it's insane to me how much somebody can negatively impact your life just by living with you. It's like, that blows my mind, you know? <laughs> yeah. That is super shitty, yeah. It's wild, but... But with that being said, uh, actually, not, this is completely unrelated, but I've, I've had this debate, like, once, and it wasn't a very good debate, mm-hmm. but you guys would be awesome people to have this debate with. <laughs> okay. Messi or Ronaldo. Oh, okay. It's like, it's like the best sports debate of all time. Easily. That is, yeah, that's a so, super fun debate. Depends on what you, like, what do you mean... Do you just mean who's better or like I mean, what aspects? Because they, I don't. I think me and Mason are on the same page though. So I don't know how good of a. I feel like we're be. all on the same page. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, we all. I mean, I definitely think Messi is. I think Messi. Too. I think Messi is. Yeah. I don't know though. I mean, some some stuff Ronaldo does though is like incredible though. I think yeah. I think overall Messi is a better player, but I think Ronaldo is definitely better than Messi in a lot of a lot of aspects. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think we talked about it too, like, like Ronaldo's bike. You know, like Messi, Messi would never do Messi that. Messi can. Messi would never do that. Like, he would just tap it in. Yeah, he the would. Just, he would just do something else with it. I don't know. He would. I don't. I don't think he would ever like be in that. He doesn't really like. Does he really poach in the box anymore? I don't know. I don't think he poaches like that. I don't think he sees. I don't think he he'll, he'll ever be in that position. Well, you, he probably would have positioned himself to like settle it down with the chest ball and then dribble Something, it in and yeah, like, take yeah. a pass past the defender. Yeah, yeah. Like, you can tell Ronaldo saw that. And he's like, oh hell yeah, yeah. I'm gonna. He bite. tries. He's tried it like so many times. Oh really? Yeah, I. Yeah, I've I've seen him like try games. I just like, like that's like oh that's something that he would do. Is, uh-huh. Like go for the bike, uh-huh. but then like he did it and it's just like insane. Bro, what's he do? It's crazy, that's dude. Crazy. Yeah, it's it's can't hate on it either. It's it's yeah. terrible. That's crazy. Yeah, but I think I don't know who's a better dribbler. How about that? Let's break it Messi. down. Oh, uh, I think Messi. Messi. Messi, yeah, probably. <laughs> like Ronaldo's a great dribbler, but like what Messi does, like his just his. Shift. He's so shifty, man. He's so shifty. Just touches. He doesn't even know, but he doesn't even like his moves. Though, like a lot of his moves, like don't involve him touching the ball. Mm-hmm. He just like moves himself and like fakes or something. Like he just needs like something just to get past. Like because he keeps the ball so close mm-hmm. that him just like being able to like throw a defender off, just like off balance, just a little bit, like yep. gives him enough to like just beat him because he's so fast and so like so like he's so balanced on the ball too. Oh, yes. So. And he, you're totally right. He's so good at reading in that, like, flip of the switch. Am I yeah. going left or right? Yeah. Or, like, cutting back, like... Playing the ball. It's incredible. Great. Some of his through balls are insane. We watched yeah. his, his World Cup goal against Nigeria, I think it was, was insane. It was goal this of the tournament. Year? Yeah. Was this the year or the year before? The World Cup this year. It was, it was goal of the tournament? No way. Pretty. It was the one you showed me that he he settled it down on his his left thigh when it came... It's coming in... It was on his, his, right, left his right leg. I think it was his right foot. No, no, because he, he did everything with his left right leading foot. up, and then he shot with his right. Oh, yeah. Because he, he, like, settled it in on the – because it was his inside leg, and mm-hmm. he settled it on his left thigh. I'm old, I don't remember which foot he used, but I'm – He I, used I'm the not, same foot that it settled. Okay, like, I it, thought it was left. Yeah, it's, it's all it's left, left and then yeah. right-footed shot. It was during the World Cup, though? Yeah, it's the one where the guy, he has a ball in the corner, and he plays it through a ball, and, like, as Missy's full sprinting, he turns around, settles it on his thigh – and then as it's going down, he touches it with his left foot or his right foot, like, to the side, and he mm-hmm. just finishes it past the goal. Like, like full really? sprint. Like, full sprint. Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. Well, I, it was I don't think I watched that game. It was definitely... It was recognized as, like, one of the potential goals of the tournament, but I don't know there if it was. There were so many insane goals. I don't know if it was the goal of the tournament. Did you see you remember the Russia goal during against... Uh, was it Chekhnikov or whatever his name is? It was the guy who scored... Yeah... I think it was the guy who scored the first goal of the tournament. 
Was it just like an absolute rip? Yeah, yeah. Well. I, well, I think it was a, no, it was against uh, Cro- Croatia. Was it? Yeah, Croatia was in, yeah, no, who, no, who was in the final? Who was in the final? Croatia versus France. Yeah, it was Croatia. I think it was against Croatia. Yeah, where he fucked. Croatia beat him in PKs. Yeah, I think I think it was that game. Yeah, Croatia beat Fr- uh, Russia. Mm-hmm. Dude, that's good. Russia had a run. I think, did they, they go to the quarters? The semis. They went to the quarters. They lost them in the quarters. That goal. Was and in then the England lost to Croatia. Dude, I was so mad that happened. Yeah. I was so happy. I, <laughs> I wanted England. To, I wanted England to win just because like they haven't won in a while. The entire thing. Yeah, mm. just because I love their, uh, like, did you ever see their celebrations? Like, did you ever, like, see, like, when they scored, like, how crazy the fans would go? No. It was, like, Fortnite celebrations or, like, stuff like that. The fans loved it. No, no, I'm talking know. about, no, I'm talking about, like, in, like, in England, like, in oh. London, like, when the... Oh, like, all the, the, the big TVs. Yeah, and like, parties. all the people watching, so... Soccer fans Throwing awesome. the beers That's up. That's cool. Yeah, everything, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just, I love seeing them, uh... Go fucking insane! Yeah, I feel like whenever I think of crazy soccer fans, I think of like Britain and then like maybe like Brazil, like somewhere in South America. Mm-hmm. The Ukraine, like Turkish people, were like they'll just they'll actually kill people. Not, Ukraine's like, insane, yeah. yeah. They'll throw flares out on the field at the players. That's wild. Yeah. That's unnecessary. Though. There was one. There was a Champions League game. They were throwing like firebombs. Gross, but I have like a hangnail inside my right foot toe. Hurts. Oh, this. That is a good. That is a pretty good goal. It's just I think that's it's crazy. Control. I think it's crazy that he sells it with his thigh, mid sprint, and then he touches it with. Wait, so it's Argentina now. versus Nigeria? Is it Nigeria? Yeah. Okay. Is like, it his left foot or his right he's foot? Sprinting. He's Maradona's he's sprinting. crazy, man. <laughs> <laughs> you, see the, you see the pictures? Did he like, flip him off? Flip off something? He flipped off like the cameras, I think. But it was like a picture of him when he's like standing over the glass and he's like. Like, dealing at the ground, and literally all the glass is just, like, covered in white. Like, white, some kind of white residue. And he was totally just coked out of his mind. Dude, yeah. <laughs> that's what he looks like in this video. Yeah, wasn't he notorious for doing coke? Yeah. I, would, I mean, I would... He was, like, he was known for, like, just being crazy. Just, yeah. like, yeah. Just, like, outside of, like, soccer field, I guess. I kind of want to go that. Is, uh, know. Is, there, is there any debate on Maradona or Messi? I, feel like most, I don't know. Pele said that Maradona's better. He like had like a public statement. Right Pele there. was talking shit on Messi, and then Messi didn't like a right footer or a header. So yeah, like, I don't know if Pele. But Messi's actually kind of decent with his head he, and his right foot. And his right foot's pretty damn good too. Yeah, he scored this goal with his right foot. Exactly. I mean, the thing is, those like Messi never has like Messi never has those like fucking like rips like those bombs you know like what I mean Ronaldo. yeah, yeah. Me and you he doesn't have the power yeah he just doesn't have like the the balls just like moving and stuff like that looks so cool yeah. when that happens he's more a finesser his free, yeah his finesse, I think he's got he's got a shit ton of free kick goals yeah he like, has so many free, he's so good at that though like he's better than Ronaldo at free kicks I think you think so yeah, I feel like Ronaldo used to be crazy good at free yeah. kicks. Like early Madrid and like Man U, he had some insane free kicks. Yeah. He just no, doesn't do it anymore. I guess he scored that one against Spain. That was super good. That game against mm. Spain was incredible. He had a Hattie that game, right? Yeah. Was it a hat trick? Was it two goals? It was a hat trick. Yeah. It's crazy. Good. Like, that against Spain. Yeah, that was like one of the like. I watched that game. I was like, holy shit! Like maybe it was he's two super goals. Good. He's super good. This is a two or three goals. My I analysis agree. on the debate. And there might be, like, one or two things that I'm, like, messing up. But I think Messi overall is a better passer. Uh, probably better positioning as well. Uh, like, just tactically positioning himself. But better passer and better dribbler. But I think Ronaldo's better at everything else. But those are, like, the two most important variables of the game. Yeah. Maybe, maybe passing like and dribbling pressure. is, like... Like, his finishing under pressure might be better, too. Uh, who's? Uh, Messi's. I think Messi... I think Ronaldo's better under pressure. Really? I think Messi can choke. I think Messi mm. chokes. Yeah, his Argentina shot. Yeah, I think up. he chokes, yeah. Ooh. That one. I think you can always rely on Ronaldo to... Like, he will almost always, like... Like, turn up for, like, the big events or something. Like, he'll always score. Like, if he has if there's a PK, he's always going to bury it. Yeah, Bueno Ronaldo's definitely better PKs. Messi, you know, yeah, Messi, I feel like he gets scared. Gets nervous, Trust especially for Argentina. You, you don't think, like, in the box pressure, like, whenever he has, like, a few guys on him and just, just like, pull up and know. finish? I think it's the same. I think they're pretty, yeah, I think it's the same. pretty much equivalent. I think yeah. either one of them, if they have a ball inside the box... Even with the goalposts, both of them are putting in the back of the net yeah, ten out of yeah. ten times. Mm. I think Ronaldo may be. Oh, I think I think what Ronaldo has is I think he's a much better leader than Messi. 
Okay. I think just because maybe not, maybe not like now at the moment because Messi's like Messi's captain of Barcelona now. Mm -hmm. So like now he has like more experience and stuff. Mm -hmm. So like let's, let's say prime, we're, we're prime for both of them. Oh, oh man. Prime. <laughs> I I think it's Messi. Messi used me to be insane. Messi's dude. prime, I think it was earlier though. Oh, you're saying overall skill? Like, like just overall prime, or are you saying prime leadership? No, no, no I'm talking about everything. Okay, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Is that, is that what you ask? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Didn't he score like ninety goals in one? Oh year? yeah, That's he crazy. broke the record. Mm -hmm. Did he? That's his own... like, he broke his own record. I'm pretty sure, and he just shattered. No, it more. no, no, no. He's not. I don't think anybody. I'm not, actually. I want to look that up because I like. I like looked at those stats, like number of goals Messi scored, like each year. And like that one just like sticks out. Yeah, it's it's a, usually like it's usually like sixty goals. It's like a year. It's like yeah, fifty or and then, sixty, and there's and 80, there's 90. ninety, and then it's just like <laughs> like that's that's so many fucking goals. That's crazy. Yeah, I think didn't Kane have more than? I have no. Am I? I don't. I'm not percent sure. Because I th I think he had he had a. It's gonna be unreal to see like these guys in like twenty years. Like I, I'm just curious how history is gonna judge the two side by side. It really just. I mean, how many? I think it's just gonna be trophies. You think so? Well, Ronaldo's got to beat on that. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it's just, well, how many? Three, three in a row. And then... I mean, you got, you have to like, you have to actually think about it. Like who people like consider like legends and stuff is essentially based off like the trophies. Because mm. you got like, like I don't know. I just feel like people who like haven't won the World Cup or like maybe never won the Champions League aren't as because Ronaldo's probably got Messi popular. beating that. How many of Champions League does Messi have? Two or one? Two or three. I, mean, I think he has three. I mean, does Ronaldo three. have three? No, four. no, he has like five. I think it's he has four. Does he have one with? Does he have one with Man U? Yeah. Oh, so uh, he's five. Yeah, he has five. Because they uh, Madrid won twenty sixteen, twenty seventeen, twenty eighteen, and then they also won. Mm -hmm. Then Barca won in twenty fifteen, and then the year before that it was twenty fourteen. That was Madrid. And then mm -hmm. I guess Ronaldo at Man U. And then Ronaldo also won the Euros that one year. Yeah. yeah, that's like I think that's what, that's what terrible. helps. That was yeah. weird. But he that wasn't was even weird. he wasn't even in the game. He wasn't even playing the game. Hey, look, in the final, Portugal oh, really? just they sat out. They didn't sit up, but they sat back and it was like zero zero one to one. Then, yeah. then they would go to overtime and somebody would like they would just happen to be the team that scored a goal. Okay, because like, it was against like, Wales, right? Really? Ronaldo didn't play in the championship. Though? He got hurt. No, he got injured. Really? He got injured in like the twentieth minute. My friend was at oh, that game. game. Yeah. What? My friend was at the game in France. What? Yeah. No way. The guy, the guy I was telling you about before, the guy, uh, Picola, he's, he went, he played, like, he, he didn't play. No, he Wait, did they play against Wales or they play against, uh, against France? They play against France. The, so they beat, France. they beat Wales the game before then? Maybe. At some yeah. point, somebody beat France, or Wales. I think it was yeah. the game before. But, yeah, it was Portugal, back. yeah, it was Portugal versus France in France. Like, in Paris. Oh. In the capital. And he said that, like, Whenever like Ronaldo got injured, like everybody was so happy. Everybody thought that like the game was in like uh -huh. they had it in the bag. Wow, man, yeah. just sat back and wrote it out. That's I think, crazy. I think Nani scored, didn't he? No, no. It was some like I think it was like Ader or something. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know who that is. It was an older player. I felt. I feel like it was. It was like nobody. It was like somebody who didn't. Who's like not that like famous. Okay. But yeah, I don't know. I, I think he might actually have him beat on that just because he's got so many more Champions League. But still, it's not like over yet. The sure, career isn't sure. over. I think Messi needs to win it like one one or two more times. I was thinking, I was like, how cool would it be Juventus versus Barca in the yeah, final this year? That'd that be would be unreal. That would be incredible. <laughs> I see Ronaldo because I don't know, like they really won't play each other anymore very often. Yeah, like about, Champions League. Yeah. I Barcelona think... shit on Madrid. The, really? the last game, yeah. Wasn't it? I don't remember. Was it 3 1? I, I, I don't even remember. Maybe, it may have been more. I don't know. Real Madrid's had a. They've had a terrible season. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't They started off really good and then they just been going downhill. Yeah. Wow, this is. Oh, that would be. Yeah, Ronald definitely made the move at the right time. I mean, they suck because he's gone. <laughs> I, think, I think Ronaldo will have a huge argument for his, like, him being the best ever. If uh, I, that's, I, if he I, wins the Champions League this year, I think he has a huge argument because Ballon d'Ors they're tied at five, right? Isn't that right at this point in time? Yeah, they are tied. They're tied at five. Yeah, and then Modric won. Yeah, I, I don't Bullshit. even like. Yeah. I, don't know. I don't really like weigh the Ballon d'Or very much anymore because it's just kind of. I don't know. It's pretty stupid. It's obviously Paul like 
I, don't know, I didn't think he was the best player in the world. I mean, he was good for Croatia, but I don't think he yeah. was like in, like insane for Croatia. Like, Do you think they did that because it it boosts the likelihood that Messi will get more than Ronaldo? Because they they're like, okay, well, clearly Ronaldo did better this year. Dude, I don't. Um, I think Messi did better. I personally think Messi did yeah, better Messi individual. Did. Like, cause it, what, what did Messi get ranked? He, he was behind. He was like Griezmann fourth or fifth. And even Mbappe. I can't believe it. Griezmann was like in there. Messi, I think Messi had the most goals this year, or that that last like the season coming out the balloon. The war. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure the most goals. And I mean, they almost went undefeated in the La Liga. They lost one game. Yeah. And I like. I that, that's the thing is Messi has so many La Liga guys. That's like, probably that's any Messi fans are going to argue that. I like he, I think overall he has more trophies than Ronaldo. Okay, I don't know, I don't know if he has. I still like, don't know why people are so passive on EPL or league trophies. I think I mean because EPL, yeah, like, he, EPL is a huge deal for an EPL. But, but what like, about how many trophies did they did Ronaldo win in comparison to Messi when they were both in La Liga? I mean Barcelona won like every year. Barcelona, I think, I think, I think Real okay. won. I think they won like one the year. They won like okay. once or twice. Oh, okay. I mean, Barcelona okay. literally wins. Like so, that would be a huge game. argument for Messi. So they they both have things going for them. I, don't, I just yeah. I don't think you can ever possibly like call one player better than the other. But and then Champions League goals like right now it's like for now that's warm. It's like one. It, last time I checked, it was one twenty one versus uh, one hundred five, and then and then assist Ronaldo actually is first and Messi second as well. By like oh, really? he's up by like ten or something like that. Really? And they, they both dominate in assists. I didn't realize they dominate so much in assists, too. I know Messi does. That's why everybody says Messi. I didn't know Ronaldo did. I, like, I thought Messi was going to... I was like, that's why I looked it up one day. I'm like, oh, Messi has more assists than Ronaldo, at least. Mm-hmm. No, you Ronaldo to, has more. You have to look up the total assists and see if there was a difference between the two. I feel like there's got to be some point Messi's got to have more. Also, I mean, now, too... Point- now too, Messi plays like deeper. He plays much deeper than Ronaldo does. Ronaldo, Ronaldo's like the main striker now. Mm-hmm. He plays like he plays like center forward essentially. Like when he plays in games, is he Messi's kind of like that false nine? Yeah, I love him. Man. Yeah, I love his role there. Man. Give him the freedom. He's like yeah, he's he's been playing good this year. He was gone for he was hurt for three weeks and he's got the most goals. Yeah, this the season year. so far. Wow. So man, he was, dude, I can't believe Salah didn't get. Like no, nah, like I thought. I thought he should had a good chance at winning because of his EPL run. The year. yeah, he broke the most goals. Like that's like There's how can so you much not, going on in soccer? How right can now. you not? How can you not be like? How can you break that? He should at least got EPL Player of the Year. Did he? Did he? Probably, I think he did. He should. I don't know, he got EPL Goal of the Year too. But I didn't think he got. Watch him was like Conte. <laughs> I, I I think. I mean, he broke the record, and like. He's doing like well, like now, like right now. He's he's doing like he's back at form again. Yeah, he's pretty. He's doing pretty well. I just like I can't believe that like he wasn't in a, the conversation like that much, even though he was he was like injured for the he literally like missed the first game of the World Cup, because of like he's got five yeah, shoulder and they probably was it, was it the Sergio Ramos. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and like, and I think if they would have won the Champions League, then he like really would have been considered. But I don't know. Yeah. Did, did you see the Egypt like come back to get them and like to qualify them for the World Cup? Yeah, that is yeah. unreal. Yeah, he scored that PK. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was that was. They, they went down like super late or something like that, and then he like falls to the ground crying. There's like it's, yeah, the, what I've always seen is like this Instagram. Yeah, you know, it's like super really dramatic. dramatic. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, <laughs> it gets like gray whenever he gets. On yeah. The yeah, yeah. It reminds me of like the Grand Theft Auto like wasted like yeah. wasted. It is. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's totally true. Yeah. I, I just wish he would have. I thought I thought he's super good. I like him. Have you seen like how close the EPL table is now? It's crazy. Like how pools running away with it right now. I mean, I mean they're they're only six points ahead, but like I think the leagues are so like Liverpool literally will have to probably stay like they'll probably have to stay perfect to really yeah like I think City and Chelsea will still stay within no, seven. Tottenham Tottenham oh Tottenham, is, Tottenham yeah. is still they City and Tottenham now. I think they'll probably stay within six and six to seven points the rest of the season. Yeah, and they 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 got to play everybody. Over. They play they play. I think January third, yeah. so which is in a few days. From it's crazy now. how competitive it is. Yeah, it's the gonna EPL, be. Right. I mean, EPL is literally different. You live perfect. Dude, yeah, you can't lose a game. Dude, like and, and like Liverpool's points, like the run that they're on is like one of like the best ever in like the Premier League. Oh really? Yeah, it's in like top five or something. Like which is at cool this to point, think about. but like. 
if you like look, so much. If you look at all the like all the other times, like teams were like this far ahead, there was like a huge margin. But for them, it's like so. I mean, okay, now it's six points, but like five days ago, it was. T- I think City was a first on goal differential until they lost. No, City City was like a point or two ahead, and then they lost, and then Liverpool jumped up, and Liverpool was one point in front of City mm. like a few days again. ago. Yeah. And, and yeah, like there was such, a, there's never been like such a close margin. So this is like crazy. the first, this is the first, or this is the longest that there was ever three undefeated teams. I think yeah. it was a couple, I mean, it ended Liverpool's a couple weeks ago. Yeah. But it was Chelsea, it was Chelsea City and Liverpool and it was like. I feel like every year it's just getting so competitive. It was at least until November. Yeah, it is getting crazy. incredibly competitive. I, mean, I get, think the EPL is more competitive now than other leagues. Oh, absolutely. I think. Well, the top six or seven yeah, you it's, mean? I think also like I think Italian leagues getting. I, I could be wrong. It's getting better. Napoli's. They didn't do good. They didn't. Italian teams didn't do that well in the Champions League, but their um, I mean, EPL, their league is like getting better. Like EPL, Inter and stuff and AC Milan are doing better. EPL never did good on Champions League till last year. Yeah. Last year was the first year they really. Yeah, because yeah, Liverpool. Because it was the Spanish league that was. Always there was some that was Sevilla, Atletico. Atletico Real and Barca. Like there, there, yeah, there's one year with like Atletico, Barca. It was probably the year that uh, that that Madrid ran away with it in overtime. That like Ronaldo oh, scored yeah. and like took his shirt off. And the... that's the well, thing though. The that's the thing is, I feel like Madrid. That's like I feel like they always get so lucky in the Champions League. Yeah, like they, do you remember the last one? Yeah, Buffon was pissed. Dude. You gotta... Oh yeah, they should Buffon be Juventus. Or Juventus should beat them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It was like a weird red card, like literally at the dying moments of the game. Mm-hmm. And it, I don't like. What did he do exactly? I don't remember. It wasn't Buffon, but the defender. I think he like went. He went through the back of the player, but I, I don't remember exactly. But I thought it, some people thought he got the ball. Some people think he didn't. But they got, got a red, and then they got a PK, and then they tied it, and they won it overtime. Oh, so somebody else got a red, not Buffon. No, yeah, no, he did. But he was pissed that that was a foul call. No, he did. Him. I think he did. Did he, get a, did he get a red? He got a red for, for like screaming. screaming. Yeah, he might have got a red for oh, screaming. Oh, right. also oh, two reds right back to that. I don't know if the, maybe, the other guy didn't get a maybe red. Maybe he got a yellow then. Somebody got a red. So Buffon was the only got a red card. Maybe it was for Wait, this wasn't. This was last year. Oh, I was saying, this isn't the Celeste. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I was pissed. I wasn't. In... Oh, no, it was two years ago. No, it was last year. Was it in the semis then? It was the quarterfinals. Was it quarters? Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Oh, I thought. Who did who did the Madrid beat after uh, in the semis? Bayern, then? Bayern. Oh, oh, you're right. Okay, didn't so they shit on Bayern? No, they had it was, hard, it they was did close. Hard road, no, it was close. It was close. Marcelo had that that run up. Oh my god, I, I don't remember. You know that. Like, he, no. he like he just like effortlessly runs through like Bayerns and like from left back he like beats a guy and then he has a ton of space takes that then like kind of cuts on another guy who kind of passes him off almost and then he he pretty much finds this like small gap and like. Lifts his foot like you, you know, like the the move whenever you're dribbling and you kind of like Scoop. jump and like gracefully lift the ball on the top of your foot. You scoop it. Yeah, he like yeah. he like does that and just walks in and just does this like very confident really? shot, like very finesse but confident and actually some decent power too. And then just scored. But I think it's, it's elegant. It was beautiful. I think this year's Champion League will be fun because this is like the first time that it, I think it's like actually open it's, to anybody. It's insane. Like I think anybody could. Re- I mean, any of the top teams and any of the leagues can win it. Who's who's top four? Top four to win the whole thing. I'm saying Barca, Barca. City, Liverpool, Barca, and Juventus. Oh, Juventus, Juventus for yeah. sure. Barca and Juventus are probably like one and two. I, I'd probably say the same. City, I think Liverpool got a good chance. I, I think I agree with you. I, I don't know. I, that was like the one thing when I, whenever I was calling them, like between Bar or between Bayern and Liverpool. Oh, when you were picking the teams, um, yeah. Which is cool because this podcast will probably come out like right before uh, the yeah. Champions League comes out, so we'll like be oh, talking okay. about our predictions yeah. like this point. Yeah, I did still in there, dude. They could be getting better. This have you seen it with like the new coach? They're they're killing it now. Yeah, they're doing like super good now. But they're also playing kind of shitty teams too. Yeah, but I mean, at least they're like shitting on the teams. True, like uh, that's. Dark Horse, that's dude. A, that's a, that would be sick if, if United just came out. Yeah. Dude, dude, dude the, like fans would go, the fans would go crazy. Yeah, people would freak out if United won. Yeah, because they, they be love crazy. that guy. I mean, I mean, who, are, no, who are they looking at? Who are they, I think, are they playing Atletico? Are you sure? I think, but I, I, right. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I just know that... Or is it Atletico versus... No, not Dortmund. No, they were in the same, in the no. same league. All I know is that as long as Real Madrid loses, I really... 
don't care who wins. I just don't. don't I don't want Real Madrid or Juventus. I'll be fine. If Juventus wins. I like. I like to. I would have liked to see Buffon stay there and win a Champions League with them. Yeah, Buffon is the one person I'd like to see. But he's at PSG now, so. All I'm saying, like Ronaldo's going back to the Messi Ronaldo bit debate. Oh no, man! <laughs> man, you plays PSG. PSG. Oh. <laughs> Dude, yeah. PSG. If we're gonna make a top five PSG, those four we just named plus PSG, that'd probably be my top five. I just don't think they handle. I think they're all hotheads, spoiled like little hotheads who just really? get pissed off super easily. Yeah, like mm-hmm. Neymar. I can't. I can't stand Neymar. I don't think that there's. I think there's too much. I mean, in all honesty, though, they did finish like top of their group. PSG did. Yeah, it was a good group. They beat Liverpool. It, yeah, against Liverpool. Too. Yeah, Napoli. against Liverpool. Yeah, and Liverpool, Napoli, and I mean, because Napoli was at right top start. the entire time, and then Liverpool. It was, no, it was, it was all super close. But yeah, Liverpool. Yeah, Liverpool or, winning that game was huge. Did you see the save that Alisson made? Yeah, good save. Yeah, it was incredible. It was like at the like it was like ninety first minute. It was like point blank range. Just like comes out, makes he just yeah, he spread out like hit he him just, like right. Yeah, he just arm. block. He just blocks that shit. No, uh, it was insane. That's yeah. Liverpool's keeper. Yeah, they needed anyone. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah. talk about a Madrid so getting good. lucky, man. Like yeah, that's yeah, what I was true. saying. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. 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 Like dude, the yeah, like, Gareth Bale comes on. Or no, like, just like. like just rolls the freaking ball out and Benzema just sticks like Benzema what a f- it looks like our goalie in Indoor last night yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Dude, he got chipped real bad last night that was oh my dude that he should have been in did you guys he think he been was, in net do you guys think he do you guys think he's like not that good I think he's a good goalie I think he just he, they, like think about it like that was within a minute that he just he had two really bad fuck ups I think he just man. got exposed really unluckily twice yes he got hit in the nuts though Super hard. Was that before or after though? That was before. I don't remember. He got railed. Him. When he got yeah. when he got chipped, I was just like, that was really really bad luck. I'm pretty sure that guy like that was not luck. Think, that was poor positioning. Yeah. Oh, I don't think that guy meant to shoot the ball. Oh, he did. Like, I, I no, think it was like kind of marking. Like that's what I mean. Like, oh, really? I think he like was just naturally sitting out there, and then that guy just hit the ball and it just like just happened to perfectly curve into the net. Like I don't think he, he had when he was what, when I think. Oh, you're talking about the shot. Oh, yeah. I thought you were talking about when he got hit in the nuts. Wait. No, because <laughs> like yeah, he yeah. looked like he, he meant to do it. Yeah. Because you can usually, like, you can anticipate, like, he could have at least anticipate the guy was going to shoot, but, like, I don't think he had any idea. Because it surprised everybody that he didn't even shot the ball, like, in the first place. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, he was, he, okay, this, pretty much long story short, this dude's, like, 30 yards out. He's trying to play a ball. And this is this is what he was definitely intending to do. This, this guy was up on the left wing, like, near the box of, like, an indoor soccer field. He tries... He tries to play this guy like far uh, on the left wing, and what our goalie was trying to do is because this guy was unmarked, and so I think what our, at least I think uh, what our goalie was trying to do was come out and anticipate the cross, which is yeah, yeah what he was to trying to do, but he, mm-hmm. he so poorly hit it that it like like you said it kind of bent, but also like was going right towards mm-hmm. the goal, and our yeah. goalie was already like out of the box and then tried like backtracking and. But he, he shouldn't have been trying that, in, in my opinion. Yeah, he yeah. just I mean, completely I think he, the I mean, ball. he was still in, like he was in the box, like he was at the top of the box when the guy hit that ball. Like, but he, he was running forward too. Because he, oh, he, like, yeah, I think he thought it was a cross. He took like two curving. steps, and yeah, it did curve a shit ton. Because like where he was playing, well, like when I played goalie, that's where usually I sit in the box in that situation. Uh-huh. Like that's where I usually be at. Because I can get, get his ball. logic, but he, I think he was watching the man and not the ball. Because. I mean, yeah, I mean, I didn't, like, when he first hit it, I didn't even think it was going towards goal, and then it just, I mean, it literally just went like that and just dipped straight into the corner. It, it was, mine. like, in, I, I I don't want to say, like, an unimpressive spin, or, like, like a, the, amount, <laughs> the amount of curve on it was impressive, but it was so unintended that it wasn't He shanked impressive. it so bad that it curved a lot. Yeah, that's It's true. like when you shoot that's the ball true. so bad that the goal, it curves and goes up for a throw-in. Like, if he like meant to do of, that, you can clearly tell he didn't mean to do that, but if he meant yeah. to do that, it's like, he, damn. He didn't celebrate, he turned around and was just like... He's just like, all right, <laughs> like I'll take what I can get. He did that miss hit where he passed it right to the forward that was marking him with like a clear defender that we could have passed it to. Wait, what? That like, oh the like, goalie, yeah, goalie? Like, yeah, yeah. After we just a pass back, yeah. back to the goalie, pass it out to the wing, and just miss hits yeah. it completely. No, you're right. Yeah, I remember that. That is super frustrating. That would. That's, that's a super annoying. frustrating moment. It's so annoying when you just see that happen. You're just like, it's like. <laughs> when the goalie, fight, you're like, dude, you just kick it out if you have to, like, just yeah, put it, do it. something with it, you know, just get it out. This is random, but me and O'Shea were kind of debating this last night, and I, I've kind of always felt this way. But it, think about so, like, soccer players, like, who would you say is like the smartest sport? However, you guys subjectively define like intellect or intelligence, like, what, what, what do I think the smartest sport is? Like, just 
athletes, what sport produces the smartest athlete? <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Like out of like the major ones, like not like individual, because I could like there are so few. But like we were we were kind of talking like the main ones in high school, like uh, so like like basketball, baseball, soccer, football. Uh, you could throw hockey in there. I guess if you wanted to, you could throw wrestling in there. Like, just some of the main sports that, like, at least here in the United States, that... I don't know. Every football I, player I've met, half of them have dropped out of college. Like, football see, players, I, they're see, dummies. Like, I don't know, though. Like, one of my best some, friends in college, like... There are some smart guys. He's, like, he, like, he played football. He's super fucking smart. Like... Like, he's really smart. There's like, he's that, like, well, I'm not saying, like, like obviously that's individual. We're talking, like, not even necessarily stereotypes, but, like, generally speaking. Like, as a whole. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, I don't want to say soccer, but, like, I feel like soccer's, like, up there. I feel like, to be honest, like, <laughs> all the sports I just named, like, I think soccer and baseball would be, like, the clear two. Like, the clear number one and two. I, I, th- that's open to debate, but, like... Yeah, probably. I don't know. Like, I, I, I never really I mean, put much yeah. thought into it, but like, think of all your soccer buddies. Like, I, like think just our high school team. Like, we no. had some smart fucking kids on that team. Like, yeah. like who was on our team that was like dumb? Like, seriously. Like, I guess our team. Oh, so, wait, soccer was like number two in GPA, wasn't it? Where who, was, who was number one? It was some maybe golf. It was cross country. It was golf or cross country. Oh, cross, it was cross country. It was cross country. Cross country. Okay, okay. <laughs> cross I might country. say cross runners for probably. sure. Okay. No, I, I think see that. That might no. Oh, uh, I read I, there's this thing online or something. Not online, but I, I just remember reading about this thing where it's like running, like running, like makes you smarter. I can see that. Like it's it like it like releases this thing in your brain that just like helps you like learn things like. Better, like fast. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it's called. I don't well, know. I, I'm definitely like. I don't want to. I don't want to say anything because, like, I don't know exactly what it, what happens. But like, I just know that running supposed to like make you smarter. Let's just start making a medical term. So like the, the <laughs> pineferous gland, saliferous <laughs> gland pie chart, is, uh, it, it releases endorphins, proliferous, and that just secretes a lot of uh, very important fluids in your mind that help yeah. you. Just it just sticks. It's called the stickiness gland mm-hmm. of Paniferous. But I think maybe that's why soccer players are maybe you smart run. too, because we run a lot. <laughs> like that's. I imagine running is just. I mean, it's good for you. So you probably. I mean, people that run are usually more alert. I would say more like, like awake. I always like to prepare for these podcasts because I want to be like somewhat attentive. Mm. And like, like my favorite ways of doing that are like like working out and usually like to incorporate a run if I know I'm gonna do that so I'm like kind of like high on endorphins and uh cause like if I'm like sedentary all day just sitting around like I'm like I can feel like I parts of my brain are less accessible through mm-hmm. being able to recall them just based off memory mm-hmm. if if I'm like sedentary versus if I ran that day yeah I your, think your mind's just more active I think yeah if you're still doing things being active being alert I mean, just as positive hormones are going to come out of that, that's going to be released by your body. It makes sense, too, just, like, really, like, in a, I don't know, just really, like, basic terms, like, active body, active mind. Like mm-hmm. That just makes sense. That is true, yeah. That is very true. <laughs> it is, I, it is super good to, it is, like, super important to, like, stay in shape, just because, like, it makes you feel good. Yeah, and then whenever you play vet of soccer, you're not Yeah. <laughs> I think it's such good exercise playing indoor soccer. It's it like so it like good. hurts. It hurts me. Like yeah. like I can I know that I've worked out when I go to vet. Yeah, like, it is a soaked. I never like sweat like that unless I'm like doing I don't that. Do, I don't try that hard in a lot of things until I come like put I come Dude, everybody goes so fucking hard. It's so much fun. <laughs> Dude, so, indoor soccer is so it's fun. So it's so hard. hard. They go, they go so hard. It's, it's so fun, though, yeah. It's fun when both teams are quality, yeah. everybody's going hard, but it's not like people are getting pissed and chippy. Like It's just a, like a fun uh-huh. back-and-forth game. Like, I think our first game was fun. We should have smoked them, but it was pretty back-and-forth the, the whole game? time. first game? Yeah, or for oh, our team, night. the Wales, yeah. Oh, last night? Of last night, yeah, yeah, yeah. We should have won by a lot, but like it was fun. Like It was, it was always back-and-forth the whole time, and nobody was being a dick about it. It was just all general. Like, exactly. Everybody was chill out and just going hard. Also knew half the team from playing soccer against them, but yeah, that definitely helps. But but like, honestly, like just think about it. Like as far go back to the the soccer players being like smart. I don't know why that is, but like I don't know. I just think a, a lot of soccer players that I've met are like I don't want to say some of the smartest people I've met, but like 
just thinking about just our, like our, our little uh, sense of reality, like our little circle, mm-hmm. as far as like this, some of the guys we played like high school soccer with, like if you think about most of the team, like we didn't really even have like any dummies on there that I can think of. And not to focus on like the, the dummies, but like we just, we had some like very considerably like smart people, like you, you two included, like, mm-hmm. like, I don't know, just, uh, yeah, for the most part, I, I don't think anybody really is fucked up that was in, besides Will, Dylan, <laughs> we're pretty good. Yeah, it's just, it's just like a weird thought to think about. Yeah. yeah. I think it's just the people you're around too. I feel like people that play soccer and yeah, put a lot of work in, I feel like people that aren't, that don't put a lot of work in aren't necessarily as smart. I think there's other sports that they would rather play. Yeah. They have to put a lot of work in for, like. That's why a lot of people don't play soccer is because you got to run six <laughs> games. You know what I mean? Because it, it's like extremely technical with the part of your body that you like foot eye coordination. Like you don't use that unless you play soccer. You know? <laughs> that is true. My hand eye coordination is not good because I maybe played soccer. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that's 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 very true. But your hand eye coordination is probably better than somebody's foot eye coordination right. who like only play baseball. You're right, yeah. right. You <laughs> that is me. probably true. You can definitely <laughs> tell somebody has played soccer before. Whenever they like, yeah. like if you just give them a soccer ball, there's a distinct difference between someone who's played soccer or even I mean people who play hockey are usually pretty good with their feet too because mm. they do hacky sack or whatever that's why it's cool to watch somebody who's never played soccer like kick a soccer ball because you're, you're like oh my god like that that's what it looks like if I never touched it <laughs> yeah it's like so wow you, you don't Just realize like, in it. Yeah. Yeah. it yes looks so unnatural yes you good. realize how like how learned it was for you to like have a ball at your feet mm-hmm. yeah yeah, that being is. able to juggle a ball across the field, I feel like that's a very small thing a lot of people can't can't do. Super fun though. Yeah, it, is it is super thing. fun. It's I don't true. know why. It's an, it is enjoyable. I'm very grateful I play that sport versus like yeah. I don't know. Is that pretty much play it because my parents chose it for me? So. Yeah, that's, that's true. <laughs> As a kid, it was always beneficial because I was always in shape. Whatever we were doing, I could play any sport. And I was always in shape, so it was always nice. Yeah, that's how I always felt like you know. That's another thing, like soccer speed, like it, everything's relative, right? So like, back in back in high school, people would always be like, "Oh, this person's so fast," and I'd be like, "I always hear like this person that plays baseball, oh, he's the fastest on the baseball team. Oh, this guy that plays football, he's the fastest on the football team." Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, I'm sure I'm sure they were quick, but with that being said, there was like a time where like I, I forgot what we were doing. We were doing something athletic, and I was like running against somebody who was like supposed to be like the fastest on the baseball team. Mm-hmm. I smoked the dude. I was like, uh, what the uh, hell? I was like, this is baseball. Like, I just think baseball players are like significantly slower. Like, like, the, like soccer speed and baseball speed is a very different. You gotta have term. endurance and acceleration to be fast in soccer. True. But even like just sprint speed, like, yeah. I, I don't know. Like, so I was just saying, you get, like a soccer, I mean, sometimes it's 30 yard sprints, 40 yard sprints you're going on for through ball, especially as a forward or even as a defender. Mm-hmm. So like, you gotta be able to be able to make that long sprint and then continue continue to do stuff after that. The play doesn't end necessarily. Yeah, so I think, think that takes a lot. I feel like also soccer players when they run, they like when they sprint, their their strides are like super like close to each other. I don't know if yeah. you noticed that, just because like you know like the ball like has to, like you have to make like little steps whenever you're like dribbling and stuff. Like compared That's to cool. like. Like a football player, like a like somebody who runs track, their strides are super fucking long. That's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Once they get, I mean, yeah, it makes sense. That's why Messi, like Messi's strides are so quick. Yeah. Efficient. Yeah, they're so like little. He, steps, yeah. he literally just like he like he moves his legs like so fast. He just like, keep, it's insane. He, he can just keep the ball glued to his feet. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah, like or if he like you know took regular strides, mm-hmm. he would be fa- he would he would be faster. Like, so many soccer players would be faster if they took, like, long strides. Mm. That's the only reason why I was ever faster than people is because I just had long, long yeah. strides and I could move my legs fast enough that it was, like, beneficial over time. Because I couldn't beat somebody in a short sprint, but if it was long, like, eventually just my strides would carry me out. True, oh, yeah. Resistance. But you got, you got quicker acceleration lines over time. Yeah, senior year, I was, I was a lot faster than I ever expected I could be. But... No, no, not anymore. <laughs> yeah. I always feel like I'm two steps behind what I'm wanting to do. All right. Oh, yeah. It, it's it's so shitty when you just, like, can't do something just because, like, you're out of shape. 
you're like, fuck, I want to, I want to go mark that guy. Yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> shit, like, I want to get back and like, yo, get in front of him, <laughs> mark him, but like, oh, I just can't right now. <laughs> There's at least five or six times I think every bit of game where I'm like, shit, if I was in shape, I could have done that. Like, uh, I knew I could have made that extra touch or scored that goal, or I could have made that run, but since I'm lazy and don't do anything, I'm just holding myself back. Dude, <laughs> being on the ball is super exhausting, too. That's like... Because you, you gotta like fight somebody off the ball. You gotta what while you you're know? running, while you're like holding the ball. Like Keep you gotta do so much. Though. You gotta do so much at once. <laughs> it's, it's, it can be super yeah. tiring. Towards the end of the game, when I'm playing defense and we're like possessing, and I get the ball in my feet. I'm just like, fuck. I'm just like, yeah. what? Like, what I gotta do? I gotta play a through ball. It's gonna take way too much effort. Yeah. Uh, it's a drag. <laughs> you know something? Something. This is kind of like a like a different topic, I guess. But you know, like. Uh, Something I've kind of noticed is like people, you know, like people who play sports and stuff mm-hmm. are usually like the people who are like, I don't know how to explain this, but like usually have like the most drive and like in school and stuff. Like, like I know like companies and like employees and stuff, like they usually say like athletes are like the best like workers and stuff like that, if, if that makes sense. Cause like if you think about it, like it is, cause like since, especially since I go to like a school where it's like it's just a bunch of like nerdy kids and stuff, you uh-huh. know what I mean? Like, People who I expected to be like smarter than me. I feel like since I like played soccer and like played sports, and I noticed this too. The people who play sports get better than like like just nerdy people who didn't mm-hmm. and stuff. Just because I feel like we have that like drive to like You've had win to for something. Yeah, before. just like win. You know what I mean? Like okay, do yeah. well. Like have that like just like success. Oh shit! Success is just like drilled in our brains. Absolutely. And I feel like that. I feel like that's something that like sports does. It's like super good. Like super beneficial. That like. Some people don't know this. That's yeah, that's super important. That's where a lot of my confidence for like, like uh, I don't know, like I'm, I'm pretty confident I'll do well at whatever like, I end mm-hmm. up pursuing in life, mm-hmm. and I, that most of my confidence comes from that. I'm like, like I don't know, like being good at a sport or like playing a sport, you learn so much of of that that so many people are lacking. So much about yeah. character too. Yeah, you, you also like you learn how to like listen to like a coach and stuff too. Like work with other people. Yeah, work working with other people like to win. Like that's like it is like super important. Like I think it's like a super valuable asset. Like some people don't realize, I guess. I don't yeah. Know. Mm. But it, it's something I noticed. You yeah, know the I mean? fact that we played a team sport too. Yeah. That we had to work cohesively and yeah. you get better like like if you were if you were put in like a leading position at some point in that sport too. Yeah. Like, what was the word critique Kyle yourself and know how to communicate with others, like on and off the field. Was it yeah. was it adversity that Coach Kyle always talked about? Was that the word he always used? I assume so like overcoming like mm. troubles, I guess. I think that's a good way having to like things not be in your favor and then working your yeah. way out to get a desire that, or a result that you want. It's like that mental callus. Mm-hmm. Like, like you're, you're, it's like a, me- it's really a mental thing. Like that's what sports teaches you more than anything. And then you yeah. apply the same mental like philosophy or ideology, whatever you want to call it, like steps and use that same like grit, that determination or whatever it is. Like I'm going to complete a task and this is how I'm going to do it. And while yeah. you're doing it, you can like critique yourself more objectively. Cause you're like, okay, like you're, you're yeah. fo- it's like people that play sports are more, fo- more focused on like maybe it's winning or whatever the desired yeah. result is. People who play sports, like they play to win, especially like people who play like high end, like that's all the stuff. Of results. Yeah. That, like, especially like, I also feel like the people who like played more like competitive and like who played like, who like achieved a lot also end up being the people who are like the most successful mm. in like, you know, maybe in life or in school or, or whatever's important to them. Just cause like they have that drive, to like consistently win. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Especially like capitalism. Mm, like you're yeah. definitely in, a, in a, a game, a system, whatever you want to say that like favors that mentality for sure. Yeah. 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 Having that drive to just I, I be successful. Wondered. Sorry, sorry to catch you on my No, well, that was all I was going to say. I've always wondered like why, cause obviously we live in a capitalist society and I've always wondered why sports are so ingrained in our culture. And mm-hmm. I think that was intentionally set up. I, <laughs> you know, like, I, I don't know. Are you, are you, I mean, dude, like people, I think like, it's like normal for people like want to like, I mean, want to compete. Absolutely. And it's so like, I mean, it's fun to watch sports too. I mean, like grow up as a kid, you play football or whatever. I think it's fun to want, like, I enjoy watching soccer because I played soccer. I mm-hmm. just think it's cool to watch that. I enjoy it. Yeah. Cause you know what's going on yeah, too. I understand. It's just. You just into what I play. Yeah. You like. I can relate to what's going on on the TV. Like so it's almost like people like the like the art, like the craft of it, and then they also like the uh, 
they also like the competitive nature of it too. Yeah, that's why like people have favorite teams because like they want to you know there's certain styles that they like. Yeah, yeah. That's why I like Barca. Like yeah. I, just, I really like their style and like the way they get that W. Not even mm-hmm. necessarily like the result. It's just like I, I like I agree with the way they play the game. Mm-hmm. There's also this thing like there's also like I can't remember like people 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 also like like athletes and like sports just because like those people are like essentially like the closest thing to like superheroes yeah. because like they are the like they are like the most athletic like the most superhuman yeah the most like superhuman that's also like why people like um i mean lebron james is literally like, yeah superhuman. Like, he's literally yeah he's dude, like, i do see like athletes a lot more like like heroes like that's why people wear their jerseys and stuff or so than like movie stars or like artists like i, I see yeah. a lot more yeah yeah just because like what they're doing is like real <laughs> like, yeah. like obviously like that's like, so damn cool you're, they're doing what you always wanted to do. Yeah. yeah. Nobody's Basically. ghost riding Messi's goals. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nobody's ghost riding that slam dunk by LeBron. Yeah. <laughs> that dude is just insane. He is literally just a. He's a super. Yeah. Man. It's like he's old and he's still just like. He barely ever misses games. He never gets hurt. That's crazy. I think, like, I think he got hurt like a couple days ago like the first time he's missed a game in like two or three years oh yeah. really? I think he like he never gets hurt he never misses games I feel like that dude's like super competitive I don't like watch basketball that much but I just know like I can just like look at him and tell that like that dude always wants to fucking win that yes. dude is like so fucking he's driven he's, yeah he's it's like his competitiveness is, I just feel like so much higher than like Everybody or most people than like the average. And then the person. Pape did an interview. Yeah, I, I watched that. Yeah, just a few days ago. Yeah, yeah, That's and they, cool. they kind of talk about that, like wanting to win and stuff, and like being successful. It's just like, what did he say? He said in the interview, he said LeBron James was like, oh, like you know, winning. It just like for like people who like who want to like win and like who have like that mentality. He like compared it to like. Like a getting something on Christmas, where like you're happy with getting a gift, but like you want more, just because like it feels good. And like people who are like super competitive and driven, like like winning something feels good, but yeah. like they want more like championships and stuff. Like, like they want more success. Day. Yeah, they just they just want to keep winning and winning. They want to be the best. Yeah, that's a cool kind of psychology. It is. It's it's. I think it's super interesting. And I think like I think you can apply it to anything, like your daily life. Just like trying to just be the best <laughs> at whatever you do. I guess. Or just improve. Yeah, yeah. That's that's my mentality. That's what sports taught me more than anything. It's like, I love competing, but what I could love competing with more than anything is myself. It's like, yeah. how can I exceed my old standards, my own, like, expectations? And I don't know, like, whenever you really, like, build up that callus and uh, just keep, keep grinding away, grinding away, I feel like you just get to the point where that desire for success is, like, insatiable. And it's just like... Like you, you just, it's like you said, it's like a bottom pit, a bottomless pit. Like you just, mm-hmm. you just need to keep feeding it. Yeah. Go to the top. Yeah. It's, and it's definitely good to like set goals and stuff and do whatever as gay as that sounds. I, I think it is super important to like be successful. That doesn't make sense. That doesn't sound yeah, gay. Yeah, that I, makes sense. I think, I think people should. I think it's super useful. I think your camera turned off. Yeah, it died, a, it died like five minutes ago. Oh, really? Oh, are you going to have to go to, like, the black screen on your podcast? Yeah, so I do, like, uh... <laughs> <laughs> they died. <laughs> uh, Discontinued. Po- mid-conversation and the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> now, so it's, uh, like, the audio is still going on here. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, so that'll keep running, and then I just do, like, an overlap of, like, my, like, logo and, like... Logo. Oh, yeah, I've yeah. seen that. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. The, su- the subjective perspective is that what yeah, it is? Yeah. yeah. Hey, we're getting there. Yeah. yeah we're branding, yeah. baby. Yeah. That's <laughs> true, yeah. That's funny that Sam's fart video went viral. That's really funny. Out of all things, I want to, like, I don't even know how that would spread. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know how you post a video and all of a sudden it's just, like, just one random video is just seen thousands of times. Like, nowhere. Yeah. I, well, yeah. Uh, I pretty much just have, like, I have my main channel and then I have a second channel. I'm like, okay, might as well start this. And uh, whenever I I just post clips from there, so like like this podcast, I might post like three clips or whatever. Yeah. So I guess just the taglines got. Like, I say I feel like the headline has a lot to do with first fart on the podcast. How long was it too? How long? It's was like it? a minute video. Yeah, yeah so that's easy. Yeah. To watch. It's easy to watch. Funny to see. Uh, yeah, I might as well just click on this. That's, that's exactly why I did it. I was like, there there will probably be videos every once in a while that like 
not now that like 700 views is like blowing up or anything but like that's a lot more exposure than I usually get so it's the most views we've gotten on the video so far true oh what that is the oh, most what, oh like 1100 that's like good that. now is that your Florida story or your spring break vacation oh story? most views ever like 9000 oh, that's pretty that was, good that uh, me and my buddy yeah, but buddy, uh, if you, it was actually Christmas time. This is probably four or five years ago. But we we dressed up as like Hollister models and like we went like, oh, in the yeah, store, yeah. like shirtless that one. and yeah. <laughs> Do you guys know Griffin Borgen? Mm -mm, just, nah, uh, he's nah. he's a year old than you. I know he I, he was recording us and I was with his older brother. I remember I remember those videos. Cause he used to do the prank videos all the time. <laughs> Those were super, the vines. Yeah, the vines. Those were super funny back in the day. Yeah, the. The soccer one was pretty funny. Where you don't you like go around some chick or something? I, like yeah, like a Walmart employee. Yeah, yeah. Then Mark comes out of nowhere and he's like, he pulls up a red car. Yeah. Blue whistle. I want to do that on most state campus. I think that's a really funny idea. I've never seen anybody do it before. You go do Ronaldo celebration in the fountain. <laughs> jumping. Up. Yeah. Oh, that'd be so cool. <laughs> that'd be amazing. I just couldn't do it in the cleats. Or you that's can just get a, no get a group concrete. of like 20 people and one of the Venezuelas and like Barcelona dude, on campus. And just, dude, I, <laughs> when I fall asleep sometimes, I like, I put like YouTube on my TV uh -huh. and I'll just like, I'll just like put it on like soccer and just like fall asleep, like commentators, like commenting. Have you ever watched like actual commentators after a game, like comment on it? Like a mm -hmm. soccer game, like a Premier League game. You watch like uh, Alexis Wallace you know. stuff. Like no, dude, stuff. no, dude, I, fuck him. Okay, man. good. Yeah. Now, I, can't, like, I can't say no. They're like American or... shit. Like I like I just like look up on YouTube. Like you know, like like BT Sports, like Sky Sports. Uh huh. Like they have like Ferdinand, like like comment after, like Rooney. Like they have like real like players, like okay, legit okay. players, and like like they used to have like Gerard and Lampard. Like talk about like the games, like after the games. Uh, you know so like mean? the after, like the post game recap, kind of. Yeah, so it's sort of like Sports Center, just like soccer stuff. Okay, kind absolutely. of like you know, and that was that's like that's super fun. Like I like watching that. I like people who like actually know what they're talking about, talk about it and yeah. whatnot. Like yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's it's, 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 it's a, fucking it's terrible. An embarrassment for yeah, because he, he does not know what the fuck he's talking about. He, oh, thinks, he really thinks he's well, like hot shit. He probably him. does, but like he, he does, but like I think I know who you're. Is he taller? He's a redhead. He's redhead. Okay, yeah, he thinks he's yeah. like the U.S. American soccer like, reporter. Like, yeah, he it's posts, like, so videos gay. Of himself like talking about random shit, and like I watch him, and I don't like. Yeah. I can't correlate with anything that he really. Or like, oh, or sometimes they have like uh, Ian Wright or like uh, Shearer. You know Shearer? Nah. Like the person who scored like the most goals in the Premier League. Oh, Will Shearer? No, 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 Alan. Alan, Shearer. Alan Shearer. No, I don't even know that is. Yeah. Oh god. Yeah. Okay. Okay. He's, he's like. I don't know when he was. Wait, before Sal? No, he was like 90s, maybe. 90s, 90s 2000, early 2000s. Okay, okay. He was super, like, and like Henri, like, they have like actual people who are like the best in the Premier League on there. It's Versus super, this guy. Yeah, and it's super entertaining. Anyway, yeah. I fall asleep like that shit sometimes. Okay, very cool. And uh, one of like, I woke up to like the World Cup final game, the 2010 right. one. I just woke up to a bunch of Vuzela's just. Blasting! I was like, "Holy you fuck!" Like, wake up. they're so loud and annoying. You like, it's whole so, chant and so just walk around right. campus in a big group and just <laughs> start throwing red flares and stuff on campus. Oh my god! Inside a riot. Galazzo, Galazzo. Yeah. <laughs> you do Remy Gallard's. You just do. What oh, does he that still guy's do those? A savage, the French he was, dude. He was dude, the funniest ones I, I ever forgot thought about. Was that just, guy. He goes around. He puts like those fake targets up on stuff. Give napkins in that McDonald's bag. I should. Okay, cool. I'm gonna blow my nose. Mm. There was one where he like puts yeah. the he puts the targets on people's bikes and people are in the bikes to the park and he just starts ripping soccer balls at their wheels when you when they're riding. Dude, that was so funny. He's good. He just yeah. fucking beams a lot of the people. They, get, they just... hate shit. So. Yeah. But like, those are good soccer ones, like the Mario Kart with the bananas. He did this. He did this funny thing too, at McDonald's, like where he he or, like he ordered something. Mm. And then he got to the window and he's like, "Sorry, I don't have any money." And then the lady's like, "Okay, okay," but he stayed in line. And he just got his food for free. No way. Yeah, I, I can't remember. I don't know. He never went to prison for anything. There was like one where he goes over and steals the police cap off an officer when he's dressed as a kangaroo. <laughs> or like there's one with like the girl sunbathing naked in her backyard and like there's like a zoomed out camera image and like they like zoomed in on the girl. 
and you just start seeing like this little head pop up, and he's dressed up as a kangaroo, and he's like hopping over the fence, <laughs> looking at her boobs. He's <laughs> sunbathing. I think he's, he's holding the tray and just jumps like obnoxiously, oh, yeah. and just shatters everything. You got, I think, no, Pac Man one. He goes like on a golf course. And yeah. He's still, and you got somebody hit him with a golf club. Like, oh, oh yeah, he yeah. his leg up too. His, his leg's like really bruised after that. That one, or when he goes in the supermarket as Pac Man and he's like running through the aisles and they're like just taking out stuff. <laughs> That's where they got Taco Bell, like the security guards have thrown out. Because they can't, it, it looks like they can only see like kind of side to side, but not too much up and down. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They, like, I think their costume blocks it. I'm just guessing right now, but uh, either they, way. they all like, like one of them falls and they all trip over the exact yeah, same Someone like falls on the ground, they all just get, they all eat shit, right? <laughs> and he loses his life. So they went to like a bar and they started fucking with the pool walls. And the <laughs> all kinds of stuff. Oh, that's funny. <sighs> That's those really awesome funny. Grabs the kid. Those were awesome to watch. That's really funny you brought him up. I haven't heard his name in years, but I, I used to watch him all the time. He was like my first favorite prankster, probably. Yeah, he was like one of the original like big YouTubers. Him and like the yeah, yeah, he really was. Maybe like that's like a big one. I used to, the first prankster was probably Jackass, and then him maybe. Maybe, maybe he yeah. might have been before them. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. I just know we were, we were watching some of his videos this semester, and I just thought it was because we were looking for stuff to watch. I was like, oh shit, this guy's pretty funny. We could pull him up. Hey, I used to watch that all the time. Like sock attorneys, when you go to the hotel and you'd fuck around from like six o'clock to whenever you went to bed after the games, we just go in the computers and watch Remy Gillard videos. Oh uh, yeah. All the time. Yeah, it's funny. He, I guess because of so- I don't. I feel like I got into him because of soccer. I don't know why. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. he did like super cool soccer tricks. That's probably yeah. Yeah, like you're we talking about with the targets. Yeah, he could like hit anything from like a distance. So, there was, was one good. where he pretended to be like like a soccer team wherever he was from won the championship, and he pretended to be on the team. And like like as they're celebrating, like he's like in like the circle with them after the game, like holding the trophy, posing for all the pictures with them, like. It was like I think I do, he did do that, yeah. Did, did he do something with tennis related too? Was a, oh yeah, he went on like in the middle of a tennis game, and he like they did like doubles, and like he was playing, and then he actually won the point. No, like, they, they, they like actually served it because I think they knew who he was. Uh huh. So like they kept going. Okay. And like then he did the point, and he, like, I think he ran off. They didn't even like arrest him. Oh no way! Back on, yeah. Oh, that's great. That's that's just some good family fun. <laughs> <laughs> it was one that did, uh, That's true. It was like a volleyball, like a men's national team volleyball game, and he like goes out and he stands there in the anthem. Uh-huh. And, like they like put the video camera on him. He's like sitting there like screaming the the lyrics to the song <laughs> on the camera on TV. Oh, I do know what you're talking about because they do like the close up of all the players individually, mm-hmm. and he's like the most passionate by far. <laughs> <laughs> kind of stuff. Yeah, he was funny. Oh, some of his jokes. I'm down to wrap this up whenever you guys are, Tim. It's up to you. Yeah. And keep going. Anything else I mean, you want to talk about? Yeah. It's up to you. I mean, is there, is there anything else you want to talk about? The only other thing that comes to mind is if you've seen Nathan for you. Oh, <laughs> fuck yeah, dude. Dude, yes. <laughs> my grandparents love it. They were just talking about it. Are you serious? I showed, my, I showed my grandma, yeah. Are you serious? I, did I show you the first time? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I showed them over Thanksgiving break what... Some kids of my kids of my fraternity uh, showed me those videos, and I thought they were hilarious. And I show we watched a bunch of them over break. Really? Yeah, as soon as I saw it with you, with you guys, every, like everywhere I went, people started talking about it. Yeah, we started watching at the house it's, after that. Oh, really? It started to like blow up. Like, oh, really? Yeah, because yeah, Kenny Nolling showed me it, and then uh, and then since I just, I saw it on Hulu the other day, and yeah. since then I've just been I've watched like. I don't know, like they're so whole fucking, season. He's so fucking. Funny. I just do. He's hilarious. Dude, have you seen the one where the funniest one is the Uber one? I haven't seen I've that. Seen no. One. Yes, you have, Mason. I have. Yeah, we like. We Which thought it was so fun. Is it worth ruining? Are you gonna ruin it right now? Or no, I should ruin it. It's Spoiler so, alert! It's no, it's so cool. you can funny. say it. Uh, what the, I'm trying to think what happens. He like the dude like they he makes like a like a splinter cell. Uh, cause he helps the taxi drivers out against Uber and then he like, oh, he inf- infiltrates the system with Uber. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. And like the guys all come in, they're like, fuck Uber. Like, yeah, give me, give me them. all your cards and shit. Like I know so many taxi drivers would be willing to take, take Uber down mm-hmm. and they like did like, or they didn't take him down, but, but like, they, they caused a problem, didn't they? Like, kind of like, yeah, they were like, they were getting, trying to get shitty reviews for Uber. And then the dude at the end, like. 
eventually like switched over to Uber. Oh yeah, it was the yeah. original guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because like he was actually making good money with Uber. Yeah, it's it's a super funny episode. You haven't seen it, right? No, you have to see it. You're I don't. Crazy. I didn't really. I didn't really spoil much. Too much. No. But. You have to watch. It's it. more about the reactions than it is like the storyline. I feel like, okay. like what? Oh you know, yeah, like just the shit he does. Just like watching, you're just like, oh my god, <laughs> it's so fucking funny. The one, <laughs> have you seen the Pet Cemetery one? Yeah, yeah. It brings out the <laughs> huge like tombstone, <laughs> the cracks the champagne. Yeah, on. <laughs> yeah. And, or the obviously the TV one's super funny. The one where he like tries to sell him for a dollar. And he puts like the room. He puts oh. the alligator. No, I didn't see that. You didn't oh. see. Oh my god, <laughs> that's a good one. That's he, a real good one. Yeah, he like, he's like so Best Buy is like price match. Uh huh. <laughs> and he, the, it was, he was helping out like a TV store, and he made the TVs one dollar so that he could take the advertisement to Best Buy and be like, "Dude, they're selling them for a dollar. Like, give me the fucking TV because uh-huh. you should price match." They're like, "No." And people come in and try to buy the one dollar TV, and he puts an alligator in between the TV. No and way! They, they build like a room. Yeah, <laughs> he makes them like all leave too to go dress up. Like they did be like formal. They have to dress in like tuxedos. But like he didn't put that on there. And some people actually went back, bought like costs, like like actual like nice clothes, and they come back and try to buy the TV. And then an alligator's there. Yeah, he puts no like, it's like a it's like a mini door. You have to climb under the mini. You have to door. climb through. Yeah, like a super. Small I love door. all these restrictions he puts on stuff. <laughs> it's it's like, funny. oh, you have to be at this to buy this. No, so the. the the other funny one is the oh my god the other funny super one or super funny one is uh the one where he like the gas station he, he mm, makes the price the super rebate. <laughs> the rebate is so fucking funny he <laughs> reads off so many jokes so and many shit, riddles and everybody stays for $15 and the, and the box the rebate box at the end the box is like there and zooms in <laughs> there, there never was a rebate it's box so was there funny. it's so funny Fucking, I think it's so funny. Like, the fact he got, like, four of those people to camp out is yeah. insane. And they start, like, crying. Mm. They start, they start, start like, super getting deep. their feelings. He pranks one in the middle yeah. of the night. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, woman. <laughs> and then she's, dude, what, what's the one where he dates the emo shit? Oh, it's the Best Buy one, right? He, oh, he yeah. He goes on a date where he dresses up like he's from Hot Topic. So he, okay. he tries to attract... Oh, fuck, you're right. You haven't uh, seen that one. He, uh, he tries to... Yeah, he tries to get a double agent with like with someone in because he wanted to know if like under like the contract or whatever. If like, Best Buy like just turned if they like turn the yeah. thing away, like turn people away for price match. Like if they were like okay. legally obligated to match whatever price. So like he tried to date a girl from Best Buy so that she would check it for him, and she was like super hot, like she like hot topic style. So he's like wore like a nose piercing, like, skin <laughs> tight so shirt. Funny. <laughs> or have you seen the or the the one who, the under oh holy fuck the guy's like a investigator. Private investigator. Oh, and then he puts a private investigator he on put, the private he, you know, investigator. He, he has like eight Nathans. Yeah. <laughs> he, has, he like leaves and then and then the the, the other like the Asian him well, I can't remember if he was I think he was Asian. It was, somebody look you like looked kind of similar to hopped back in the car he's, he's like, like oh you caught me he's <laughs> like he's like who the fuck are you and Nathan's just like running down the ground <laughs> it's so or dude dumb Starbucks I learned yeah. one too yeah <laughs> that one or when he makes the pig viral the pig video go viral oh yeah pig oh video. in the water <laughs> It has 10 million views on yeah. YouTube. What's yeah. fucked up is like all this stuff is like real. Like the dumb Starbucks I saw before the video ever came out. No like, way. Like I sold that on my Twitter. I was just like, holy fuck, that's kind of cool. And then I sold that the Nathan for you. I was like, oh my god, like this is like he actually did that. I love how he didn't get shut down for copyright. He got shut down well, for like uh, the cleanliness. Oh yeah. Well, no, he said that. You remember he said that it was like a, it was like a parody or something. It was like uh-huh. a spoof. That's, that's how we get away with it for so long. Yeah, like parodies can like actually have like the brand in there. That's crazy. Like yeah, that, that's why SNL yeah. has like the actual stuff. And then he like because he goes around to, like a bunch of uh, Art a pubs and like pretends like to be like a jokester or whatever, like a parody. Yeah, guy just so he gets like a reputation. Yeah, for, yeah, for, yeah. <laughs> for whatever reason, that's, yeah. I, I think he's so fucking funny. He's like sixty nine. That, that's, like, <laughs> that's like my favorite type of comedy. Is like. When they fuck with other people, even though it's so mean. And he's but, so incredibly oh. awkward, and he's so incredibly like he seems serious. He tries like hitting on the chicks. He asks the people to hang out. <laughs> and none of them want to be like, friends with them. Yeah, yeah. The, the private investigator. Yeah, yeah. He, he hires the private investigator to see if the other private investigator was 
actually wanting to hang out with them or made up a cheap excuse. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> was that one? You made the lawyer sign that thing that said he was legally liable for everything <laughs> that happened to Starbucks or yeah. whatever. And the guy freaks out on him. <laughs> yeah. Or, the, or, or was the hotel? The hotel one where he goes to the, into the, like the company, the hotel, or the, ho- the oh, the, like the head guy in the hotel. He's like the good hotel award. <laughs> yeah, no, but he's like, he's like, yeah, we like how like how do you feel about like our like bed bug thing like. Can you like sign and say that like you're gonna hire them? He's like, no, I'm not gonna do it. He's like, can you just do it for the camera? He's like, yeah, like I guess. He signs it. He's like, okay, well, thank you. And he's just like, you signed it. Like, he's like, you motherfucker. I, I think that's. I thought that was so funny. Well, technically, I said if you. Really, it says it right here. If you, I, I said that. If I said that, that you're actually signing it or something like that. Yeah. It's actually code for this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That one's fun. The oh, Johnny Depp one's funny. funny too. Yeah. Oh yeah. The fake Johnny Depp interpret. He makes them sign day. everything so they can't return it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. At the eighty dollars worth of shit. Yeah. At the fucking. Uh, what was it? his movie at the end. <laughs> oh yeah. Versus the guy farting. I thought yeah, that one's good. But I, I love that type. I think that type of comedy is best. It's probably so hard for somebody to follow right now, but it's oh, this is so yeah. funny. Like, have you seen, like, Borat and stuff? That's the TV yes. version of Borat. I yeah, like. like, I just, I think that's so funny. Just, even though it's, like, kind of mean, it, it's fucking hilarious. Because they're all kind of playing characters. Or it's, yeah. like, the only true, like, com, like, what's true. Yeah, because it's, re- yeah, it's real people, like, reacting, like, people just being super weird. Like, Borat's, Borat's definitely my top ten movies of all time. Borat's yeah. just, cr- like... He's dude. so bad. He's so <laughs> so God, I love funny. that movie. You got, like... That shit, like, Bed Blue, the first time I watched that, I was like, I can't believe somebody actually fucked with somebody that much like, <laughs> in real life. Like, if I saw two this naked so guys funny. running around chasing each other, I'd be like, I'd be mind blown. I don't know what, to, I don't know what to think. Yeah. I agree, though. Best kind of humor. Bad Grandpa's good, too. Yeah, I actually have seen Nexville. that. Oh, really? Yeah. I, I mean, I've seen, like, all, I've seen every jackass but that one. But I'd say it's like, good. It's good because it follows the storyline, which is kind of yeah. cool. it's kind of it's like the Borat theme, kind of like yeah. it has its own storyline, but he's doing pranks the entire way. The bad grandpa one was good too. He gets his dick stuck in the vending machine. And he's like sitting out there, like pulling on his dick, and it's like just stretching out outside the vending machine. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. Oh yeah. They used to. I, I, they used to. They used to like. It was like the grandpa and the. The girl, right? The grandma. Mm-hmm. Oh, it was a younger daughter. I thought. Or no, I'm not talking daughter. about the movie. I'm talking about like when they were on Jackass and they were fucking oh. around. I remember like I remember like there were episodes where his like balls would hang out like mm. his shorts or something. He'd like bend over and people would just see his nuts. Like <laughs> they were, I, like, they yeah, were like, like, they, like, like that's super funny to me. Like that's that's hilarious. <laughs> there was one where he gets like a. a I mean. He hired somebody, but it pretended like he was his granddaughter. Like they were just making out, like outside of food. Oh and yeah, stuff. or like, or like he he uh, he feeds his grandson out, gives his grandson alcohol and stuff. He's like, so yeah, take a quick sip of the slot or something like that. <laughs> like that's hilarious. I, I I love seeing I love seeing people just get genuinely just pissed off. Yes, uh, yes, <laughs> it's so funny. It's like clearly wrong ethically. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, I was I, the grandpa. Whenever he dressed up as a grandpa in uh, Jackass, that was like always one of my favorite parts of okay. Jackass. Because mm-hmm. just some of the shit he would do. I don't know if this is a bad grandpa or not, but like whenever he starts, he's like blatantly stealing stuff from a ga- like gas station. He's like putting like a, like a ton of chips in his shirt, and he he thinks he can get away with it just because he's an old man. Like that's kind of the card he's playing. Yeah. I feel like that would have been Jackass. Cause I think it was Jackass yeah. for some reason. So it was good. That show was that show like Jackass like fucked all those guys up pretty bad. Some of them like um, oh, Steve-O. Steve-O was super fucked up. I guess there was a doc like there was a documentary on him, but he, like he filmed himself doing all the drugs that he did. Like he did some crazy ass stuff. Uh, he was like in like nitrous. He did they have whippets Ugh. or whatever. Uh, oh, it was just crazy. basically just straight killing your brain cells. Yeah, that's insane. Yeah, he was like depriving your water. brain of oxygen. I'm assuming. Oxygen is just putting stuff you're not really supposed to breathe in, chemicals that you shouldn't, that are uh-huh. toxic into your body. He probably fucked around with heroin, too. He, yeah, I mean, he, I think he videotaped himself doing all, every. I have seen him doing, like, some of the, the hardcore shit. I, I do kind of know what you're talking about, but I didn't see, I don't know if I saw a preview oh. for it or what I saw. I didn't, I've never seen it, I just know some guys <laughs> were, were talking about it. Okay. I feel like I saw, like, a five-minute video type thing. There like, could be, there's probably something like that out there. He said he was like concerned for his life at points. Uh-huh. It's crazy. I like Steve a lot. I think he's a cool guy now. He's a lot of problems. 
Yeah, I think he was always doped up on opioids whenever he was doing the pranks. Like the one where he runs across the like the metal sheet with the coal on top of it. There's yeah. Like some of the really? shit it's like, dude, like I, I, when I was younger watching it, I'm like, that's hilarious, that's crazy he's doing it. But like now I'm like, there's, he's not sober. He's not sober. Yeah. Yeah, have you seen the one where like he uh, puts that like hook in his cheek and he goes like swimming with a shark? <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was fucked up. I can't believe he did that. But see, like, I wouldn't even go like swimming in the like he puts a fucking hook through his cheek and like literally goes swimming with sharks. I think they threw like shark bait in the water. Yeah, too, he was yeah. There, like, like he jumped in the water. They got like close yeah. to him. Yeah, they weren't like big sharks. Uh-huh. They were small ones, but like I think they, they were hurt. I think they jumped in. They pulled the ladder up and they threw like fish bait in there. Like while yeah. he was in the water. Why the fish hook though? Because they were fishing for sharks. <laughs> and he was bait, and he was like, like so he was dumb, bait. dude. Actually, did I ever tell you that I, uh, I saw somebody catch a shark? In Florida, when I was in Florida, we were yeah. walking on this, we were walking on this pier. I can show you a picture, but we were walking on this pier, and my parents and I were just like, "Oh yeah, we might as well." There's a bunch of people like huddled up, mm-hmm. and we're like, "Why the fuck are there so many people like with?" You know, I saw people like with phone cameras out, and like, you know, like it's a big deal if like people have their phones out and like they're all huddled around. You know uh-huh. what I mean? And I asked them, like, what's going on? They're like, oh, they're fishing for sharks. And they got one. I was like, no fucking way. (laughs) They pull out, like, this huge fucking tiger shark. and like. Did you think of jackass whenever they said that? No, no. Just because we were talking about sharks. Absolutely. absolutely. Yeah, I was just wondering if that triggered anything. That's They really, I didn't even know that was a thing. Fish for sharks. Dude, it was like, it was, I touched it. I literally touched, like, like, it's like a wild, like, animal, like, in the fucking wild. That shit would fuck you up. Uh Like, that would... (laughs) Fucking a How big is a tiger shark? I'm thinking of it. It's this big, yeah. yeah. Those kill you. No, those what? fucking yeah. They caught it. Yeah, they like dump out the bait like a couple miles down the way. It's so like, this is like a pier. Like it's not that far, uh-huh. but like it's just it's just like a couple miles down. Like, like this shit gets close. Like, it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look that. Is big he, that did picture. they kill it? No, no, no. They just, they just got it. Did like, they look at all, like, catch it? Yeah. Did look they at, like, release it? They dropped it. Yeah, the, it, you have to, like, you can't keep a shark. That guy had some stories look at it, look, you, his home. Look at, look at how many rows of teeth. Like, you can see, like, one, two, three. Like, that would fucking, that would, that you would. just randomly came across this? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, like, we were just walking, and we saw it. Oh, dude, no, look at this video. Look at it in the water. It looks fucking... It's massive. It's so big, dude. Like, that thing coming up on you in the ocean... There's nothing you... You're use. annihilated. Like, that's that's fucking helpless. Like, that is... Get back to the helpless. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, I'm writing, I'm writing uh, talking points in here so I can write a caption later. Oh, okay. That's yeah. crazy, man. That's crazy. Yeah, I touched it. It was insane. Wait, I never, where's this out again? Florida. Okay, wow. Yeah, it was it was cool. If I ever go to Florida again, I'm just gonna be like, just look for it, like, man. Yeah, you better catch some sharks while I'm here. Yeah, yeah. It, it's it was, they had like such a big harness and shit. Like it was it was super yeah, cool. I, I bet it took a long time to wear that thing out, dude. Yeah, it took them so long. Yeah, really? because you gotta. I mean, I didn't realize you had to like you gotta wear them down because you reel them in and they pull away and you gotta, uh-huh. you gotta tire them out and you gotta reel them in again. It's like because they have to be dead by the time you pull them up. Mm-hmm. It's like they're putting everything they can and not get caught. Like right. They, like, they kind of, like, know they're fucked. So. Yeah, but it's something's obviously wrong. wrong. Yeah, 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 they're getting yeah. pulled in with a hook. Some yeah, survival right. instincts kicking it. Wow. Yeah. But they like, they, like, throw it out, like, miles down the water in the mornings, and they just wait. They just sit there. They, they had caught, like, a couple that day. Okay. But, yeah. So they, they just do that for fun, I'm guessing? Or? Yeah. <laughs> just wow. take, they took a picture with it, yeah. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. I mean, dude, that'd be, like... Fuck around and go catch some sharks. Like that'd be a it thing to super do. cool. That's insane. Yeah, they just they just pulled up the pier and it was right there. And then the fact that you like came across that yeah. too is awesome. Yeah, it was it so was just insane. by chance. Yeah, yeah, we were just just walking. We we're like, oh, I guess we might as well walk on the pier right now. Uh huh. Wow, that's yeah. really cool. That's was, really cool. It was awesome. Yeah, that's yeah. the best part about traveling, by the way. Like, yeah. I feel like so many people they like so like so many tourists will go and they travel to a destination just to sit on the beach all day. And it's like, like, I like finding, like, coming across, just being on the move all the time, but, like, being, yeah. like, extra observative. Oh, yeah, it's super fun. Like, you come across some really cool shit, especially whenever you're, like, not from the area. Like, yeah, oh, yeah. It was insane. I can't believe I saw that. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, it was it was awesome, for sure. You should have wrestled them, man. Yeah, take it down, <laughs> take it down, that fucking just, that shark. It probably wouldn't have done anything. <laughs> it, like, it, like, got on the pier. Like, they, like, pulled it on the pier. Got on, just like, just like wiggled, 
Just a few times, and it didn't do anything. I feel like I would just give up. I wouldn't try to fight. It was anything. done. I probably it had dead. no idea what was going on. It'd be like us drowning. Like, yeah, it was dead. Like, it was just like, it was so tired. Uh huh. And people, people were like just opening its fucking mouth and just like <laughs> taking pictures with it. Yeah, it's so. Cute. How long can they live without water? Oh, a good amount. Like enough. Of, like it was. It's not like they dumping water on it or anything. Or? Mm-hmm. No. Like, I, I think it was fine. It was only for like t- f- ten minutes. Okay. Like they. Well, can that's crazy. Sure. They can last. So they just throw it back in. Like they, they just, just they literally just tossed it. Really just. Over the- yeah. <laughs> I was like, man, that kind of sucks. But like, I mean, there's no other way they could get it over. It, I wonder, like. If there's any proof on if they're like if they're harming it in any way, I'm assuming they're not. But I would like to think they're not. Like harming it and by tossing it, by tossing it, by catching it, by reeling it in, by tiring it out. Like oh, I'm sure like they're harming it, but like not like I mean, I mean it's fine. I mean, it's gonna be fine. <laughs> like, yeah, it would be I, illegal like, if it was gonna like kill the shark. Like a hook is like gonna hurt it. You well, know like what I mean? my like. I don't know, just like uh, maybe you tired him out to the point where he's not going to be hunting as actively for the next like twenty four hours. Then he's not pursuing as many. Oh, sharks can like yeah, sharks say, can like go like months without say, food. I don't think they hunt. Oh, really? I don't think they hunt every day. Oh, really? I think it's just kind of like given the right time and situation to go out and hunt. Okay, they can survive a long time without food. I didn't realize that. But they like they eat. like I think like when they because like when they eat they eat like a lot. Uh huh. <laughs> you can get a lot of nutrients. Fish yeah, fish like, are, eat, like, fish are very seal. like. Yeah, fish are full um, of uh, um, they're some of the most like energy rich food in the world. Badass animal. Yeah, yeah you don't want to fuck with sharks, mm-hmm. dude. I would love the oh my goodness to to be like humans are not meant to fight other animals. <laughs> much. Never know. To be in a shark cage with like some great whites, dude. That is something I would love to do. Yeah, that'd be cool. That would be insane. That'd be absolutely unreal. <laughs> That or go see Earth from out out in space. I'm like the craziest things you can do. That'd be cool too. That'd be awesome. Just some of the nature walking this planet, or not even necessarily walking, just like on this planet right now is so cool. Oh yeah, That's crazy stuff. I saw speaking about the movie. I saw the new uh, First Man movie, mm-hmm. like uh, not too long ago. Was that supposed to be based on uh, Neil, Neil Armstrong? Armstrong? Yeah. Okay. You know, like, you know, like he wasn't like that good at school. Oh really? Like he wasn't like that smart. Yeah. Like, he didn't do, like, insanely well in college. Like, I get better grades like oh. than he did. So he's just, like, like, an average student? Yeah, or, like, kind of, like, below average. Wow. Oh, I kind of think he did, like, that good in, like, math and stuff. Which Wait, why did they choose him? Just because, like, he was just driven. He just always did his work well, I guess. I don't know. I can't really remember. I don't know why they chose him. He was just, he was just for... a good pilot. Okay. That's the reason. This dude I haven't talked to in, like, months sent me this video. I can't uh, see it. It was a video that said tonight's vibe, and it was a picture of an Indian. <laughs> like a poster of an Indian, just him zooming oh in and out God. of the Indian. Oh, really? Interesting. It's very bizarre. How's that a vibe? <laughs> cool, you guys want to call us call us a wrap? Yeah, I think it's good. good. Hour and a half, a little over an hour and a half. I felt like two hours, I felt a while. It did feel like a while. That was a good time. Cool. Sounds good. Well, uh, that's it. <laughs> All right. show Mason. Thank right. you guys. See ya. See ya. Thanks for having me. Oh, by the way, show. I just ordered some new equipment. So next podcast, I'll have uh, about three hundred dollars of equipment. Sam helped me out with it. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> like, what? I have three microphones. So we can all have like mics. Oh. Uh, <laughs> is cool? So this is like your last shitty interview, okay? <laughs> I, I think it's cool. Cool. Yeah, yeah. I think without this, yeah. Wow. So all it's right. getting more legit. And then like a uh, like a mixer. Can we get headphones? Like, I don't have the headphones yet. I'm, we need that. We yes. just we should just bring beats. What are the headphones? Put, put some beats on. I think the headphones are so you can hear yourself talk on how it actually sounds. No, it's just like that's what everybody wears on all the shows. That's why we. I don't understand what it's right though. They just wear it for show. They have to. <laughs> they have just to. to have as much shit on as possible. Yeah. It's, really, it's complicated. That's that's what you need. Well, it's they, a lot more complicated than just having a conversation. <laughs> I'm sure they probably like play videos or stuff during the podcast. They, they yeah. might like hear other people talking. Or that, yeah, or they might like they might just put like if they're trying to get like an outside source instead of playing it in the video they probably mm. just play it in the headphones mm. and they probably upload an audio file into the podcast so it sounds better okay that's the only thing I could like rationally I have up. no idea why you would need that's, yeah, that's the why the hell would you want to hear yourself talk yeah I, I can hear yeah, <laughs> that's I can, like, super annoying I can hear you guys fine right now that's yeah. why I didn't really understand the headphones either yeah. it might just be if they put like a video of something it just would sound bad if it was just like 
like playing in speakers on the recording because uh-huh. you record the voices obviously so you probably would want to put in a recording of the, like the audio you put in you know what I'm saying so you wait so you're hearing the audio what like say like we were like that YouTube video of Messi uh-huh. one of the goals say we wanted to see it uh-huh. you could put that video in and play the voice but it wouldn't go it wouldn't like play over the our voices while we were talking with right. the headphones so you could hear the video still but it wouldn't overlap over everybody else Wait, so are you saying you could play that on the screen? Like you just have a random computer if you want to look up a video of something uh-huh. and you could play that like you play a video of something and everybody hears it in the headphones. That's the only thing I could really think it would be like. Oh, so you know how much you're hearing it on the headphones. Yeah, so like you can hear videos on the headphones so it's not playing over the video like while you guys are talking. Okay, that makes sense. So it's okay. not like external, like it'd be like people walking around. Well, what about the, the sound of somebody's voice too? Like if the, if the can't, headphones aren't, or if the mics aren't picking it up maybe but like, I mean I'm what? sure that would be like the person who's like editing the videos probably would be paying attention to that uh huh you know what I mean okay okay cause obviously they probably have people that specifically do that at that point yeah I know like the, the big ones they have like actual people working on set like on like the audio engineering side as well I'm sure they probably have like huge things that they can listen to and they probably change it while they're going that's cool that's cool like a real studio <laughs> that'd be cool to hire somebody to do that shit yeah that'd be fun cool okay, it makes it's been fun, fun. Yeah. awesome cool alright cool. see ya